All right, everybody, are we ready for day four of Koa? It's time. We got, we got a little uh, we got a little ways to go. Our first uh, match is Axis or A X I Z versus Team F A V. One of my uh, favorites, um, fa fa favorite teams to watch. Oh yes, yeah, so rest in peace to uh, Toriyama-san. Rest in peace. For sure. I, I did. I saw the news after I finished my earlier stream. Rest in peace. Um, but yeah, for for the people who were uh, commenting about me like being concerned about like my health and me uh, not sleeping, it's okay. I am sleeping. Don't worry. I've literally just changed my sleep schedule uh, to line up with Koa. I literally sleep from like 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. right now, so I'm fine. I am completely fine. Anyways, um, yeah, this is this is the first set that we have. We only have two sets to watch today since we are starting at like. Um, you know, around two in the uh, two in the morning instead of like ten thirty or whatever. Uh, I believe tomorrow and then the day after we'll have four sets, but today we only have two, so it's gonna be like four to five hours. But yeah, I'll, I'll hold you what you said, Zeus. If you do wake up, <laughs> we, we can we can co-commentate if you want. But you know, I know I know you got like other responsibilities um, other than you know content, so don't don't worry about it. You should just get some sleep. I, I'm I'm mostly joking, but if you are awake. Um, then I, I just just hit me up. You thought I wouldn't? No, I, I'm streaming every single day. There's a co-op. The only the only issue is um, once tomorrow hits, because let, let me let me pull this up here real quick, because I believe the Southeast Asia qualifiers begin, um, and a few other things as well. Let, let me see this here. Uh, where is the schedule? I need to get I need to have this like bookmarked or something. Um. Here we go. Yeah, so he here's the current Koa schedule. Today is March 8th. So today we have uh, Japan Division Day 4. But tomorrow, we have not one, not two, but three different things of Koa going on. We have Japan qualifiers, Chinese mainland qualifiers, and then Southeast Asia uh, qualifiers. So I think I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I honestly don't know. It really just depends on like how the streams go. But what I can tell you is we'll stream one of these three, and then whatever we don't stream, we're just going to make videos on throughout the week. So expect next week to just be full of Koa content. Uh, same with uh, the week after. Expect to just all be Koa content, because I'll, I'll have to catch up on these streams, because there's going to be a lot of games that we have to uh, to watch. So expect, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to just be Koa, 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 Koa. <laughs> so if you're not super interested in competitive play, I apologize for that. Uh, we'll still have, uh, you know, bits and pieces of our regular theme content, but... With so many, so much Koa stuff happening, like I, I have to put this as my, uh, my main focus because I don't know. At least, at least for me, I, I'm personally quite interested in it. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be sure to like do some other fun things throughout the day. Like in between sets, we'll maybe do like a dual hunters game, um, maybe like some one v ones or whatever. I don't know. We, we can, we can just have some fun with it. We can have some fun. No, my guild ranking is dropping. What is this? Yo, who, who is slacking? Satoru. <laughs> I'm coming for you, buddy. Oh boy, somebody's slacking. Uh, I think my, I think the highest uh, the guild ever was was like in 40th or something. Um, but whatever, it's fine. Feeding us 24/7. Well, I am a full-time content creator, so this is my job. Will I uh, watch SEA qualify later? Uh, well, they don't they don't play today. They play tomorrow. But yes, I will. Yep, we, we had a collab with Hikaru earlier today, and now we're watching some Koa. All sorts, all sorts of content, all sorts of content today. You know, it, it was really fun. It was really fun getting to uh, collab with Hikaru. I've seen a few of his videos before. He's really good at Hunter, and um, it, it was fun getting to talk with him and just learn from him as well. There is a lot, <laughs> a lot of stuff that we uh, discussed in that stream. So I'm gonna have to go back and review because, who boy, um, there's a lot. Did I play any other matches after my learning time with Hikaru? Did I see improvement? I didn't I not play any matches uh, after the stream. After stream, I just ate uh, some food and then relaxed for a little bit because I knew I was going to have to stream for X amount of hours. Uh, we should only have to stream for like four to five hours today, though. Should I buy Phyllis for Melly? Uh, that's up to you. I, I mean, I'm going to say yes, but that's up to you. If you really like Melly and you think you're going to use the skin a lot and you get value from it, then yes. 
The reason why, like, the thing is, when it came to uh, me potentially going to be purchasing that Acrobat skin, um, the, the Chinese New Year one, I was really thinking I wanted it because it was really cool. But I just don't play Acrobat enough to justify me getting the S tier uh, and wasting all these precious fragments. So maybe I'll get them uh, next year or something. And maybe, maybe if my Acrobat gets better. But right now, my Acrobat is just not good enough. So I don't even think I'm worthy of the skin. Okay, it looks like they're probably gonna um, probably gonna go over stats here first. I'm gonna make sure this is HD. Usually, usually they have to go over stats first. Um, and real, real quick, I want to test the, uh, the commentator's audio. This might be a little loud. Mm. Let's see. This should be good for all of you. Does this sound good? Is this are they are they too loud? It might be a little loud. Let, let me know if they're a little loud. I should probably turn off this, huh? <laughs> that might be good. Are, are they too loud? Let me know how that sounds. It's good. It's fine. They sound fine to me. Okay. Well, when it, when it comes to the actual game, they might they, they might be a little loud. So def, definitely let me know if it is um, during that first game. But we, we usually have to wait for about a, a minute or two. And by a minute or two, I mean like 20 minutes. Just got back from work. Z's bringing me a peace of mind. Well, I know you want to see some Alva games, so we, we might we might see some Alva games today. At max, we're gonna watch probably let's see two sets equals twelve games. Twelve games probably. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, twelve. We'll probably see twelve games today unless there's overtime. So there, there's a good chance. I know, I know there's still some people wanting, like, I know, um, Zergirla wants to see Cowboy. I know Noel wants to see Antonio and Alice. Uh, I, I'm, I honestly do think that Alice will be seeing more play after her recent buff. That now that she can, you know, get rid of the extra, um, <laughs> now, now that she can get rid of the, uh, rescue illusion on Edgar's adjustment, uh, technically... It just relieves more. It just relieves pressure from him. Cause the thing is, he didn't get any like buff, buff. Because technically, he's still the same. It's just that he can now start painting earlier. Well, I guess the painting earlier is fine. I don't know. Uh, it's it's good. It's good. I think it's just like if you don't have a painting ready and you're about to take a hit, you basically can set down the painting earlier. Um, I, I think it's gonna be nice for people who chase painter first. Cause that way, the whole point of painter is to like let him take kite and then. Um, he uses both paintings and then he just kind of sits on the chair for like 2,000 years. I don't know. Ideally, it, like in my opinion, Painter is like the character that you should run like Knee-Jerk Reflex Flywheel on. And ideally, they also have Snooze, right? Like, I, I don't know. If I am a Painter, if I, pay, if I pay Painter, I don't know if this is entirely accurate. Let's just say Coordinator is Painter here. <coughs> um, paint. <laughs> I would ideally run something like this, and then self heal. Uh, maybe this. This this that's probably what I would run. Yeah, because because the whole point of painter is you want to sit on your chair for a long time and also kite. So give it give him max kite build and then let him sit on the chair for a long time. Because the point is that you're supposed to let painter die, but he'll make it to end game because of like. He uses the, the freaking paintings and then sits on the chair forever. And like, especially with two sets of Tide, oh my gosh, dude. With two sets of Tide plus Snooze, plus like full kite build, like bro, Painter, Painter can cook. But that's only if he takes first kite. If he doesn't take first kite, the whole plan is ruined. <laughs> that's what I think anyways. I don't know if that's, like that's what we've seen Painter kind of run uh, when it comes to the opera meta. Um, Speaking of opera, we can see her right there. That's all meta right there. All, all those characters are all meta. All meta. You have a pear to eat? I actually have a... What are these called? Sun Belt Bakery Soft Baked Bars Sweet Fruit Filling Raspberry Flavored. They're basically just like raspberry filling uh, little uh, grain whole grain bars. And they're pretty good. They're they're pretty cheap. You can get them from Aldi, um, and and they're they're pretty yummy. That's what I, that's what I have in the back. I do have some fruit as well, but I'll probably eat that tomorrow. 
<laughs> yeah, ew, bon bon. Wait, hold on. 75% win rate, though? That's kind of crazy. Can I gift you something? Like an emo? Uh, please do not gift me. No, pl pl please do not gift me. I, I don't really like accepting gifts because I don't really want the special treatment. Um, I like if it's if it's like a rare you know if it's like a very rare occurrence like some some people um, are I, I I guess I don't I'm explaining this badly but I, I guess I'm f I should say, I shouldn't say I'm fine with it but like if you want to give me the best time to do it is like when I earn it right when I reach like a subscriber milestone like a major one like oh I got to to 15k that's a pretty big uh that's a pretty big subscriber milestone. And it's like, okay, you know, I, I think I'd be, I, I think I'd be like, okay with accepting a gift then. I know it seems kind of weird, but it's like, I'm okay with accepting a gift that sounds kind of like conceited or whatever. But it's more, it's more the fact that, um, I just don't want it to be like a regular occurrence, you know? I don't, I don't want to be a content creator that takes advantage of their audience to be like, yeah, give me everything, guys. Give me everything. And at that point, like, um, then that just kind of sucks. It's like all the people who... You know, really love some of the things that uh, that like that could be in the shop, right? Like for example, um, the freaking the latest dancer skin. I know there's a lot of people who love playing dancer. Myself, I don't really care about dancer that much. Um, she's fine, right? She she's kind of fine. I'm kind of just indifferent towards her. Um, but I know a lot of people would get mad if somebody was just like, oh, you can just have this this sylphide skin because yeah, and it's like okay, that's cool, but like. What if somebody did that for every skin, right? Or it's like, oh, every single new skin comes out, somebody gifts it to me. Like, nah, that's just, that's too much. That's too much. So I just didn't want it. I didn't want it to have like, it be like a, you know, a constant thing. If it's like a small gift here and there uh, for a special occasion, I think that's fine. But yeah. Plus, there's two instances where I literally didn't even accept gifts because I wanted to record videos on them. And then <laughs> just didn't make it in time because I read the date wrong. I missed a cowboy and a barmaid gift, which I still feel bad about. This pair is low key kind of mid. I never thought pairs were that interesting though. I wish you could give someone by using your own fragments. I wish you could too, yeah. I wish I wish you could, yeah, definitely could do that. I think I I'd be more willing to accept if it wasn't like money, right? But the fact is like, it's money. I, even I would probably gift like some things to friends if I had the the fragments. Obviously, I probably wouldn't gift any S tiers, maybe not even any A tiers, but like a B tier. Like yeah, it was like oh I want to give the puppeteer B tier B tier skin to Zeus so he can suffer with it. Yeah, that'd be funny. Cause I know he hates puppeteer. He also hates cheerleader even though he plays her all the time. <laughs> 100% escape rate. Who was that on? All right, here we go. We got FAV. Where is Ento? Why are there two Mike Gamings? Where the heck is Ento? Melly, where are you? Oh boy. What do I think of Jack's Tuberose skin? Says Tube. Is that a thing? I mean, as the S1 Jack, I should know these things, but like, maybe, maybe like Nettie's hacked hacked it in there or something. Or are you just like playing with me? All right, so that's literally not a thing. Right, of course. Yeah, see, myself, the S1 Jack, you can't put anything past me. <laughs> Check the collection S tiers? I just did. I don't see it. What? It's a returning skin? Oh. Well, listen, as the S1 Jack, I know about everything, so, like, they must just be, like, hacking. They must have hacked it out of specifically my game. I think that's what happened. Yep. Go to my collection? I don't know if I want to do that, though. Last time I showed off my collection, my account got hacked. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. I know I have password protection on, but I don't want to take any risks. So, sorry, I don't think I will. On your profile. Well, I oh, I see what you mean. You, you can like go and investigate it from there. Yeah, that's where you can see all the limited skins. Okay, that's right. That's right. Yeah. But yeah, I'm still not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it because of because of the hacks. I'm not forgetting freaking 
Blaze anytime soon, whatever the heck their name was. I said I'm not forgetting them, but I forgot their name already. Was it Flame? Was it Blaze? I don't remember. Something like that. Oh wait, I can literally just go on the wiki. Hold on. That's a better idea. I just I just typed in Rupper. <laughs> Let's see here. What are you guys referring to? Hmm. Oh, this skin. This skin. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've seen this. Wait, is this the... Wait, I know what this is. This is the freaking... This is the one that came out with Dr. Melly, isn't it? Isn't it? I think it is. Oh yeah, I know this one then. I just didn't know what it was called. I mean, I knew what it was called, but like... Uh, Nettie's must have hacked my brain. You know, as the S1 Ripper, I know everything about Ripper, so... <laughs> that, yeah, that's a good skin. That's a good skin. On the Zack skin? The Zack skin is like... It's, it's, it's like if you run into that skin, you're losing. Guaranteed. <laughs> that, that's what I think. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off here, and we're gonna turn this on. Yeah, that's all. Cause we are. Oops. Yeah. It's slightly loud for me. Um, but they're probably gonna start anytime, any any second now. So. Zach skin. That's that's the that's the uh the guy who goes eh eh eh. That was terrible. You know the the guy with the scythe, right? The guy the crossover guy with the scythe. He's got like bandages on his face, and he goes eh 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 eh. Whatever you hit with him. He laughs like, like, like a crazy person. That one. Angels of Death. That's right. <laughs> that's the one. Yep. Oh boy. Yeah. Whenever I run into that that Zack skin, I just assume that I'm losing. I assume that I'm losing 100%. Mm. Would I pay $200 for a Meli SS tier? I can't afford that. As much as I would like to, I cannot afford that. All right. Here we go. Whoa! Wait! 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 They changed it. Wait, they changed it. Whoa, they adjusted it. No way. I wonder if, hold on, I wonder if they have the builds. Look at this, this is different from last time. This is cool. Yeah, they have like, like overarching things on the, 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 the top corners. Interesting. I wonder, wait, how are they gonna, where's the hunter gonna show up from? They have nothing to stand on this time. What? Wait, where's the hunter gonna come in? All right, hold on. Coordinator anti-ban. I wonder if we'll get to see the builds this week. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Ento. Uh, no, it's, it's going to be Opera. Don't play Ento because she'll die. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? They kind of phase in. What? They phase in? Okay. Wait, Novelist? I didn't even realize Novelist! Orphe Gaming! Yo, wait, hold on. Yo, Orphe, your villain is right to the left of you, bro. Orphe Gaming! Hold on. Wait, is this the first time Orpheus has ever been in tournament? Is this it? No way. He's gonna Orph all over the place. Oh, baby. Embalmer too? Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think this is the first ever time he's been allowed. I think this is the first ever novelist competitive game. I'm not even joking. This might actually be the very first ever novelist competitive game. Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's it. This this comp kind of goes hard. Wait, so the the hunter's gonna be on the right then? Wait, this is it. They really changed it. Last time they were like brought in by the tentacles. They changed the whole thing. They changed the whole thing, dude. Maybe they, maybe it's because they were having issues with it last time. Interesting, bro. Orf is posted up. I I kind of I gotta see him cook, bro. I gotta see him cook. I gotta see Orphy do something. He's gonna get swap with her. Oh my gosh. I wonder how many like metaphors he's gonna be able to get. Competitive Orf Gaming. No way they're saying Bonbon. Bon. There's no way. Orphe's counters Bonbon. Bon. Yeah, it's Opera. Duh, it's Opera. Yep, it's Op. It's Op, 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 Opera Singer style. Mm. Dang, dude. Officer's popping off with the watch. These are some cool animations. Yo, Orf, Orf is just chilling there, bro. He's, he's like so stoic with it. No way! He's taking first chase! Orf, come on, bro. Orphe, I believe in you, bro. I believe. Wait, this is actually really interesting. Oh, yes, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 
こう入れさせられるっていうのが怖いまあ前は多分入れ替わって数秒動かされるとかではないので見失い能力は下がったものの。I just I, I spelled it wrong. Forget forget the fact that I spelled it wrong. I put over instead of orb. I put over two different times, bro. Oh,、uh, <laughs> Orpheus more like Oprah's. Oh my gosh. So stupid, bro. How did I misspell it two different times? Oh my gosh. It's Oprah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, that's so funny. Maybe it's because I just think I had opera on the brain, so I put O P instead of O R P H. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, this is so funny. Novelist! Come on. Everybody's voting for Oper. <laughs> Come on, Orphe. I believe. I need you to cook right now, bro. Please, it's round one, Orph. Please. What's he running? What's he running? Knee jerk, knee jerk. Okay. Knee jerk on Orphe, tied on first officer, tied knee jerk on embalmer, and then borrow time knee jerk on、um, on patient. So only only one character with no BT, that of course being embalmer, which is you know pre pretty、uh, pretty standard stuff. Early rotation, who is going to take the first chase here? Most likely the embalmer? Oh, nope, teleports back, okay.、Uh, patient maybe? No, this is the officer. This is the officer right here. Hmm. Oh, there's the watch. Okay. Cyphers are climbing already. I thought she would chase the orf. I really thought she would chase the orf. I can't even lie. She has no chase target right now. You don't want to go into two star A because if you'd like the drop down thing. Oh. Okay, I guess she's going into two star. Never mind. This should be patient. He's already. Oh, he silent vaulted down. Yep. Oh, but now he's cutting towards the embalmer. They're all going away. Oh my gosh, they're all for forced off their cipher, but the rotation is good. And now here we are. It's graveyard. Patient's already leaving. Oh, but she might find the embalmer. Dude, the rotation is actually so good. Dude, the rotation. This rotation is so good right now. They're not even like she hasn't even kited or she hasn't even chased anybody technically. Here we go. The chase has finally started. Basically, look at all this. This is all from rotation, bro. Not an inch of presence for this opera. Oh, oh! That was smart. That was smart. That was really smart from the embalmer. I would have vaulted there. Raise your hand if you would have vaulted there. I would have vaulted there, 100%. Oh my goodness. That that would have、uh, actually just made her come back like instantly if she got that. That was really smart from Asa. He's still dead. Like, he, he's literally still dead here. But he's gonna die off in a corner. And his coffin isn't graveyard, so he's not gonna he's not gonna use his coffin. Surely not, right? Yeah. We still have officer with tide, but the ci the ciphers from the rotation are looking so good right now. Obviously, one of those ciphers is at like thirty ish from at, at graveyard, but the other ones are almost done. This is really good. He's actually opting to use the coffin. Okay. Wait. Um. I guess he does have the invincibility. I guess everybody else just wants to focus on ciphers then. Hmm. He's just gonna die now. He didn't even try to vault or anything. Hmm. Why are we dying? Why are we dying over here?、Uh, oh, I guess they finished the cipher that was right here. Oh, he's trying to die away from graveyard so they can continue that cipher. I see. Oh, but she's going back. Okay, that's why. That's why. I was like, why is he?、What? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. This is really good, though. This is really good. Like. There's hardly been any chase at all. It's this is all just rotation. This is literally all just rotation. My goodness. All right. We have two people nearby.、Uh, the thing is now she's pressuring a cipher that they have to open up a whole new one. But with Tide Turner. All right. You you get this Tide and then you just drag her as far away from the cipher as possible. Yep. She hits the embalmer and then you just, you just go as far away as possible, bro. Just run away from that cipher so they can finish it and that that is a dead embalmer. But they can easily tie this. That's what you want. If you can get a tie against Opera, that's perfect. That is perfect. And th this is. <laughs> she's trying to. She's trying to body block him, so he can't run as far. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Bro. I. I. It feels like she wasn't even chasing anybody. 
It was just rotation and stall. That's literally the opera meta right there. Oh, is that that's Shuichi Saihara, not even Orf. That is Shuichi Saihara right there. And she's gonna chase after the cipher and pop. There's the pop. Beautiful. That's a tie. That's just a tie. She has teleport up. She does have teleport up. Patient has three hooks, so he's fine. Orphe still has his metaphor. She teleports back. Goes to the gate and then maybe gets a down teleports. Oh, but that's that's the that's the officer. He still has a watch. There's no way this is three escape, right? There's no way. Nah, dungeon's way too far. Yeah. Wait, but she teleports! Oh, Orf, come on! Shuichi Orf, please! Do something! Use your metaphor! Actually, no, this is a terrible spot to use your metaphor. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, he uses it! Oh, but she teleports back. Okay. Palette mind game, beautiful. He's charging. Look at how fast that- Look at how fast it recharges! Oh, baby! No, oh, he's dead, he's dead. No, he's not! His metaphor's almost recharged! It's back up! It's back up! No, it's not. Now it is, now it is. He's got, oh, he's got metaphor again. Yo, that thing charges so... Me swap, swap, beautiful. Oh! Orf! Yo. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh! This is the craziest... Bro! <laughs> he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Nah, he's dead, he's dead. Oh my gosh. Bro, Orf. What was that? What was Orf doing? How? It's the power of Orf. It's the power of Orf, bro. Oh my gosh. He kited so long, dude. All around that one little pallet. How do you do that, Orf? Oh my gosh. Alright, well, they got a tie. That's what you want. If you can get a, if you can get a tie against Opera, that's perfect. That's all you need. That was a good kite, yeah. That was a good that was a good end game kite. But literally like that entire game was just rotation and stalling. Besides the ending. Like it was like the only bit of kiting that we actually saw, honestly, was um was the Orpheus. That was it. He was like basically the only one who kited. Everybody else was just rotation and stalling. That's it. Like stalling with the the um with the coffin, running away with the tide from the coffin, using the tide from the officer to run away. Like I can see why they're picking him bomber, because he just gets the self rescue into the tide. Like that's so good. That is just so good. That was a good first game. That was a good first game, dude. Novelist coming out? Oh my goodness. You're so mad you missed out on the first half of that match. Don't worry, you didn't you didn't miss anything. All all that happened is Opera got rotated and nobody was nobody was even taking kite. It was just rotation. It was a really good rotation, very beautiful rotation from Team FAV. Isn't it funny how the team that I'm rooting for is the one that plays Orphe, dude? Oh my gosh. That's hilarious, dude. Bro, now I kind of play some Orf. I kind of play some Orf now. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So for the for those who don't know, for those who don't play Orphe, since his his previous uh, ability was he could he could take control of the hunter for five seconds. Now he just swaps places with them, right? Uh, after his recent adjustment. And when he was taking control of the hunter, they didn't allow him in terms because he was just too busted, right? He was he was just too busted. Uh, like, in, in, like, official major tournaments. I don't know about any, like, small minor ones or whatever. Um, but even after his adjustment, he was not allowed in tournaments, like, IVL or whatever. Even after that, he was not allowed in tournaments. The caster tournament, whatever. And now, I, I'm pretty sure with this Koa, this is or this is the first time Novice is able to play in tournament. And he did well there. He did well. He honestly did really well. And as you can see, the metaphor recharges really fast. Like, it, it recharges really freaking fast. Um... As long, it's like it's like a seer owl when you when you look at the hunter it recharges that much faster uh but it's like it's like dummy fast like it's like eight seconds or something it recharges very fast after each use though the uh the cap does increase by um two seconds so i think it will take like 16 seconds or something i forget uh at max like after you use it so many times but like for the first like two three times it it recharges so fast it, it's incredible um and he gets a speed boost. He gets a speed boost every time he uses, every time he swaps with the hunter. And he also has this, which like on, this doesn't even matter. This is like good for like the rotation, honestly. 
Um, I guess this is actually better in competitive now I think about it because this is this really fits in well to the rotation right because he can he basically has a decoding buff when the cypher is before 50% and then a decoding nerf when it's a uh, you know in its later states but with a rotation um, by the time like the cyphers are climbing up it's not gonna matter because accelerated decoding will kick in and then like your decoding debuff doesn't matter as much so like having a better early game and a weaker end game for cyphers is probably fine honestly so I, I guess this is better at top level, but I feel like at lower level and uh, mid level, this doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Why are there so many freaking cat faces? What? Hello? <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> well, I feel like I missed something. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, Orf Gaming, bro. Orf Gaming. That was very funny. All right, well, I'm stopping this. We're gonna go back here because the second match should start any second now. How, how was the audio on that though? Was was the audio fine? Was it too loud? Too quiet? Let me know. I also have not only did I have those little uh, those little grain bars, but I also have sparkling ice lemonade um, here, and I really like the the sparkling ice lemonade. Yo, there are just so many freaking cat faces. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you to the 10% of people who are not pre uh, pressing cat faces and are telling me that the audio was good. <laughs> oh boy. That was a good game though. That was, that was a very good game. I'm so happy I got to see Novelist. I was hoping we would see Novelist, bro. So if that's the case, that means we'll, we could see a Percy as well. We could actually see a Percy. Oh, man. Novelist and Percy are available now. I don't think there's any banned characters now. I don't think there's a single banned character. What teams are playing today? We have uh, Team Axes and Team FAV versus uh, Team MY versus Team STR. No, we only have two sets today. You want to see the, some hosters, some feasters, some Mr. Feast? I do kind of want to see some Mr. Feast gameplay as well. I can't even lie. You know, he is the theme of uh, the Koa after all. I would like to see some Mr. Feast. I, I doubt that we'll see Mr. Feast, but it would be nice. It would be nice. You want to see Antiquarian wants to see some Antiquarian. Oh, that's funny. That is funny. That is funny. We're going to see Antiquarian. Don't worry. Without a doubt. She's the best server in the game. We're 100% going to see some Anti. All right, here we go. Obviously, most likely Opera. Yami does play Bonbon, bon, I'm pretty sure, is what people are saying. Let's see. Dancer? Dancer? And Orf again? Hold on! Wait! What happened? What happened within the last week? Did they discover something with Orf? Did they discover did they discover something with Oper? <laughs> it's Charles! Oh my gosh, we're cooking, bro. We are cooking. Anti ban? Okay, no anti this time. Sorry, Antiquarian. Last ban is going to be Merc. Okay. So we see Officer or Mike Gaming, surely. Mm, officer, most likely. Officer? Officer? Yup. That's Officer. That's Officer. Insolence, Trump card, Peepers to teleport, Smiley, and What? Insolence, Trump card, Peeper, teleport. Interesting. Most smileys run blink. Most, if, if most have the 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 insolence, uh, they'll do insolence, detention, insolence, confined, uh, and they'll have blink. I feel like smiley is pretty adaptable. As long as you have insolence, though, you're like you're. I think you're fine. Everything else, I feel like, can uh, be up to uh, what up to you want. More map dependent, team dependent, but you gotta have insolence for smiley. One hundred percent. You gotta have insolence for smiley. All right, obviously it's opera, right? Like, it's gotta be opera. Now, can we can we see some more Orf gaming though? That's what I want to see. Is it Orf meta? I don't know. I don't know. Like, there was no novelist at all last weekend, and now, boom, we're starting this weekend off with not one but two, two Orfies from both teams. Like, did something happen in the last weekend? Like, was 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 Orf like was Orf gameplay discovered? I don't know. I just don't know. All right, here we go. Let's start another poll. <laughs> Let's see if I can spell it right this time. <laughs> uh, Orf. Who's on, who, it's the question is, who's on Team Orf and who's on Team Opera? 
<laughs> I'm on team Orf. Here we go. He's gonna Orf all over the place. He's dude. He could take kite, bro. Let him take kite, please, please. I want to see him cook. Come on, Orf. Dancer in corner house. I guess that's fine. Officer in middle. Yep. These spawns make sense. These spawns make sense. I guess ideally, where does the novelist go? I guess he run. I guess he goes to cabin, and then runs back towards where those double pallets are, toward the gate. Um, and I, I actually don't know where he goes. Hmm. Because he doesn't want to interrupt officer's cipher. I guess officer could rotate upwards. Charles will probably go upwards. I'm not sure actually. I'm not sure. I'm just glad I get to see Orf, bro. That's that's all I know. I'm not I'm not good when I I'm not big brain enough to to know the rotation. But all I know is that I want to see some good uh some good Orf gaming. Yeah, so they updated the UI and everything, but they didn't update the builds to show them here. I wish we could have seen the builds before we got into the match. It's more it's more like a jump scare now. They might they might fix it in the coming weeks though. If they if they adjusted the UI, they might adjust the builds. Oh wait, you know what? You know what? I think I'm okay. Very, very weird reason why they might not. I wonder if it's because the players could stream snipe it. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Movement. Okay. I honestly wonder if that's the reason. So Opera, of course, has detention trump card blink. Uh, Charles has tide borrowed time. Orphe has flywheel. Uh, borrow time. Officer uses a watch already. Dancer has knee jerk and borrow time, and then uh, officer has um, borrow time tied. So everybody with borrow time, interesting, interesting indeed. Not running a uh, any knee jerk tied, any knee jerk flywheel stuff like that. Oh snap! Hold on, Orf, Orf. Oh, it's Sh it's it's Shuichi again. Shuichi, Saihara. He's got the metaphor ready. The tram is here. Do you take tram? Oh no, it's coming. Okay. Wait, he can just trap her in here. No, she's breaking the pallet, so he can't do that. Yep. Oh, pallet trick, pallet trick. Orphy, Orphy, pallet trick. Yes, yes. Boom! Take that. Yes, the Orphy trick. And he charged up like 25% of metaphor for free, basically, dude. Oh, that's so good. Oh, and now she just goes over somebody else. Yo, Orph. Dude. Oh, that's both watches used, though. She goes back. Oh, she's... No? Why'd you teleport back? Was it to reset your cooldown or? I actually don't know. Oh, hold on. More Orf gaming? Here we go. There's no pallets left though. There's no pallets right there. He can make it to graveyard, I think. He can make it to graveyard with flywheel. Okay. Oh. Dude, she's like, he has metaphor again. Orf! Oh my gosh, dude. Novelist is crazy. The fly- Wait, no! He missed his flywheel! Oh, that's so unfortunate. Now she can just blink down. No matter what he does. Oh, yes! Oh! What? That doesn't hit! No! That's hacks! There's no way that hits! There's no way that hits! There's no way that hits! Absolutely no way that hits! What? Yo, the only way to beat the Orph is by hacking your hitbox. Well, it's obviously not hacks, but I can't believe that hit. Opera's hitbox is known like for being so bad. How did that hit? I can't believe that hit. That must have been like the last pixel of the hitbox or something. Poor Orph. He was cooking too, man. He freaking metaphored the blink. He is almost crazy. Oh, Charles is coming. Gets hit. And boop. Tied. Oh man, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to let Orphy go unless they can cipher rush here. Luckily, the good thing about Officer already using up his watches is uh oh teleport back. But Orphy's gaming! Oh my gosh! What's his oh his metaphor is not charged up though. His metaphor is only at like 30. Oh, oh, oh. We're playing around this pallet. Nice. Bro, there we go. That's the opera hitbox I know and love because it's bad. <laughs> Metaphor's charging, metaphor's charging. He vaults the window, he vaults the window, he can't make it. But, metaphor? Oh, it was just barely not ready, I think. I can't tell if it's ready or not. It might actually be ready. Wait, the cypher's though. No, he's saving it for the rebound. Oh. By the time he gets rescued, he's gonna have he's gonna have flywheel and full metaphor. There's no way they can three escape this, right? All thanks to Orf and the rotation? Bro. Orf S tier? 
Orf S tier? Hold on. Officer is here with the tide. She she does take the, all, all, all he has to do is body block. No, wait, it doesn't matter because tied. You just you get the hit. She hits officer too. She didn't even hit the right one. And he can just stall back here. So they wait for hit. Pop, pop, pop. Beautiful. Dude, they can actually three escape this. I can't even lie. Oh, she has teleport though. I can't say that. Dude. No way. She has to teleport now. You have to teleport now. Teleport now. You have to teleport. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, but the boxes. Oh, but the boxes. Wait, dancer. Oh, she's dead. Dang. That should have been two slow boxes. That honestly should have been two slow boxes. But wait. Um, that's still a three escape, I think. Because Orf, Orf, Orf can like metaphor. No, that's a that's a three escape. That's three escape. No way. Bro, they actually make that. <laughs> Charles uses his hover. Bro, Orf! I mean, I mean, that was like rotation and whatnot, and Opera not chasing a target, not committing to a target, and, you know, the double tide, of course. But Orphy, bro, is he the way? Is Orphy the counter? The true one counter? Oh my goodness, dude. Or, or Orphy's cooking. I can't even lie. I'm I'm loving the novelist gameplay. I'm absolutely loving the novelist gameplay I'm seeing right now. That was a three escape. And like the opera was I don't even think the opera was playing that badly. Like she just got rotated and just couldn't commit to a target. And guess what? You know the reason why? It was because Orphy was doing so well. It's because his he has ability his, his ability is so active, right? It recharges so fast. That was beautiful. That was actually beautiful. I still don't. I, okay, hold on. I need to see. I need to see that one hitbox though. That that what that one tear shot. So she blinked right here, and then he's right here. He starts vaulting now. But like, how does that hit? I is like it's normally opera like hits from this like angle right and it doesn't hit them, like didn't did this happen like later on when he was like right around here? Uh, was it right here? I think it was right here, right? When he was playing around this pallet, and like, so that's like the same distance and it doesn't hit it doesn't hit here but it hit earlier like, it, it's literally like the same distance. I. <laughs> Like he's running back into it, like, <laughs> and then she misses again. Like, how did the other one hit and not like these two? Oh my gosh, dude! O Opera's hitbox, bro. Opera's hitbox. I mean, I I'm not even lie. She deserves that hitbox because like she's broken. But my goodness, dude, that's funny. That that's actually funny. I can't even lie. That that's some that's some that's some jank hitboxes for sure. <laughs> yeah, no wonder, dude. No wonder he's the main character. Dude, this is all him, bro. This is all Orf. This is all Orf. I, you know, dude, you know what I wish I could do so badly? Where is it? Is it right here? Um. Yeah. See, they have the time of reunion stuff here, but I can't play it. I wish I could play it. You literally can't. I really wish I could. All I can do is just like read the lore from it, which is sad. I think I think one day I'm probably just gonna like watch all the cutscenes and make a video on that. But man, I, I wish I was here for this event. I really do. And I've been told it's like really similar to like the current Ashes of Memory story. Like he kind of goes into like the same stuff that Alice did, where he's like investigating the same parts of the manor. He like goes into the basement and sees like the freaking rats and whatnot. Yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, see this. This is like the same. Yeah. Oh. Dang, so I can watch the cutscenes. Hey, Orf. <laughs> well, I can't actually walk around and play as him, though. Which sucks. I wish I could. It, it seems like I can watch the cutscenes, at least. But, like... Yeah, but I can't actually walk around as him, which sucks. I wish I could. <laughs> ugly Fius? He's not even ugly. He's just a guy. <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, everybody's clowning on. <laughs> oh, you can't, you can't just clown on freaking old Orf. That's him when he's like 40, right? I think. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? Global ban? Huh? Who would they global ban? They didn't global ban. Oh wait, no, they did. You're right, they did, cause they selected him first, so no more Orf. Oh, that's right, that's right. Orf is, Orf is the global ban then. But like, then why would they select him first? Dude, something must have happened between this week and last week. Not just with the UI, but with with Orf. So something happened. Something happened. I don't know what it is, but something happened with Novelist. And I, I don't know what it is, but I like it. I like it, dude. I've always wanted to see Orf gameplay. Because I, I love playing Orpheus. He's so fun. I'm not very good at him, but he's like in my top five favorite characters I love playing. Like Melly, Anti, Composer, Orphe. All, all like right in a row. And then probably like Journalist? I th those those are like the characters I really like playing. And I also just like them in general. Um, like characters that I also think are fun, but I don't know anything about them are like Wildling, Emil, Acro. I love playing them, but I don't know anything about them. I don't know their lore. But at least like the Ashes of Memories, I know their lore. I know, I know, I know Cheese lore. Actually, uh, her her character trailer was really cool. I I love Antiquarian's uh, character trailer. It, it's a very cool trailer. All right, enough of this though. Let, let's let's get back. They might start a match here soon. Free or from Banjail. He's he's not available for the rest of the set, unfortunately. So no more Orf gaming. But maybe in the next set, we'll see some more Orf. I do want to see some more Orf. I really do. I really do. What the heck, bro? Y'all are still making fun of Orf? Oh my gosh. Poor Orf. Yeah, he's the owner of the manor, guys. Show some respect to Orf. Wait, check Orfy standby emote. He's doing the... Wait, is that why you guys were spamming it? No way. He doesn't even look like he's doing that. Literally doesn't even look like he's doing that. What? Bro, he would never do this. Literally, he would never do this. He's not... What? What emote is it? I don't even know if I have it. Uh... I maybe like ever so slightly standby. Oh, where he just. Well, I don't know what standby is. Is that just his idol? Okay. I don't know what. Do you mean idol animation? I don't know what standby means. What? Below emo. Oh, this. So, oh, oh, right. I forgot what that was called. Uh, <laughs> it's written. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it now. He's not even doing it. He's not even doing the face. What? I don't see it. I don't. I don't see it. What? The look? Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> I see it. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> what is wrong with you, bro? Bro, what? <laughs> I see it now. I see it now. <laughs> Chat went crazy. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I see it now. I see it. Why does he look? He would never. He would never, bro. He would never. They're going to patch that out, bro. There's no way they're going to let him do that. <laughs> Oh, hi. Yeah, whenever he goes like, oh, hi. I love that, dude. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, hi. I say it to myself all the time, dude. Oh, hi. Oh, Orf. So funny. All right, please ban opera. Please ban opera. Please ban opera. It's Leo's memory. Please don't ban Bon Bon. Please. Wait, I forgot to freaking write stuff down. Oh my gosh, I'm bad. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back after this match. 
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let me, let me, let me write my stuff down. They ban opera. Thank you for banning opera singer and not Bon Bon. F A V and then A X I Z. So they, we got Aeroplane is patient. All right, nice. Standard stuff that we see. Wait, this is not for a opera though. Hmm. I guess they're just strong characters in general. Enchant. Uh oh. Oh no, it's Neon back on Enchantress. I mean, they did super good with Antiquarian in that one match, but. Last time they picked, uh, last time they picked a chances, you guys remember what happened? She canceled her attack recovery during detention. That's what happened. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know about Enchantress. I don't know. They did so well with Anti. I mean, Anti is banned, but like, you have so many better harassers. You have forward. You have. Well, I guess forward does, has a decoding debuff. Batter has a debuff. Maybe it's maybe they like it charity because she has no decoding debuff. All she has is the healing debuff. Yeah, even even Kyoko <laughs> What? Oh, it's funny. Uh, I mean, maybe we could see some redemption, but I I don't know. I don't know. Ugly fist, the first ugly fister. <laughs> what the heck, Noel? You're being, you're, you're saying he's ugly, bro. He's just, he's just chilling there. Look at him. He's spinning his watch. Everybody else is like so stoic, but he's just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's readying up, dude. I know you want to see Alice. I know. <laughs> we'll see Alice someday. Don't worry. We're gonna see Alice someday. She's a later she's a later round rescuer pick. 100%. Alright, let's see. Are we gonna see Bon Bon? Wait! Full Scold! No way! Dude! The very first ever Full Scold! Hold on! Hold on! We had the very first novelist and now the very first foolish! Oh my gosh! Hold, hold. This we're, we're popping off now. This is Koa, bro. Foolish 4K. Is it time? We're finally seeing fool's gold. Oh my gosh. Wake up, everybody. Get up. I don't care if it's three in the morning. We're seeing fools in Koa, bro. Oh, oh my gosh. He's so bad early game. Are they gonna run insolence? There's no way they run insolence fool's gold for the freaking rock. The rock isn't even that good, man. It's better for pressuring ciphers, not even for your chase. All right, hold on, hold on. I need to see this, bro. I need to see this, dude. Within within like so little time, novelist and fools. Uh, what's next, Percy? Like, oh my gosh. They're actually playing Fool's Gold. I don't even think he's that bad on this map either, is he? Like, there's a lot of areas where I feel like Fools can cook on this map. There's a lot of closed in, like, palleted areas. But at the same time, I don't know, there's a lot of good ways to transition on Leo's too. And transitioning is his big weakness. Oh boy. Alright. I don't know what to extract from this at all, I really don't. Who does he even chase first? If he chases Enchantress, she, you just give her stuns. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I just don't know. The very first fools, dude. The very first fools of Koa. In all, in all of IDV, the very first foolish game is right here. We are witnessing history, dude. <laughs> all right, Nort. What do you got for us, buddy? All right. He already messed up the axe. He already messed up the axe. <laughs> Not even two seconds in and he already messed up the axe. What? We're chasing Arrow? No way. Hello? Okay. Dude, he's just... I mean, he's using the axe well. They're kind of all transitioning into each other. Hold up. He found officer, but that's not who you want to chase. Forces a watch. And I, yeah. Enchantress now. Enchantress. Oh. He found her. 
bro? Bro? I mean, they, they, don't have no, they don't have any cyber progress. Thank you, uh, Sunimiya, for the donation. Yeah, <laughs> fool's gold. I, I want to see, I want to see him, I want to see him cook. I need to see him cook. He got that chip! That was good! That was really, he has blink, he has blink, oh wait. He has, oh, he doesn't even have insolence? Alright, boom. You can't vault that. Pull back. But here's, now what? <gasps> no, no, not again! Not again! No! Not a second time! You can't keep doing this! You can't keep canceling attack recovery and getting away with it! Good flywheel, good flywheel. I mean, he's doing okay, but man. Oh, he breaks pallet slowly. I have max breaking pallet speed on Fool, so I always kind of forgot that. Bro, what was that? All right, you know what? Nyan's Nyan, kind of doing some redemption here. Ah, uh, the oh boy. And dude, see, what do you do against this man? What do you do? Nice. Wow, what? Ah, oh, fool's gold, man. He's so bad. Oh, he should have just basic hit. Wait, wait. No, come on, man. Come on. Just hit her. She has so many stuns. Dude. Oh, she avoids. Oh, Yami. Oh, no. No, they're never gonna play Fool's Gold after this, please! Oh. Dude, every time he wants to go for a hit. The thing is, like, Enchantress actually is so good against Fool's Gold. Like, this is supposed to be a bad pick, and yet, and yet, he literally can't do anything if she, if she has a stun. Because the whole point is, like, the mind game of, like, can you go through? But she can just go through for free because she has stuns, man! Oh my gosh. Oh. That took forever. That literally took forever. Oh, man. Fool's goal was too impatient. Because the thing is, like, after Nyan cancels the attack recovery, you're like, oh, man, I'm about to have a down. And then, like, uh, it's okay, though. His camping, this is where he can come back. Well, no, he can't because it's officer. So he just guarantees a rescue. Do you just hit him? He just hits him. Oh, yo, hold on. The, the body block? Nice, nice. Uh, uh, he hits him, okay. Tide rescue. Oh boy. Alright, he is going after Enchantress, but the last Cypher is almost ready. I don't even know if he can tie this. He's going to get Max Prez. Boom, there's Max Prez. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Okay, sets up the rock. But it doesn't matter. They, they, they don't, it doesn't even matter. Like... He doesn't, he doesn't even throw it. He doesn't even throw it. There's a chance he can tie this, but it's very slim. Because the chair just has two stuns and a flywheel. It's very slim. Okay, full prez. Like even, the thing is, even if he gets the good camp, it's not going to matter. Come on. No, he already messed it up. He messed it up. He chair hit too. No, man. No. Where are you setting up your rock? There? Oh, he's going to try and use pickaxe it down. And, oh man. No, man. No, man. Why aren't they popping? There it is. Ah, come on. Oh! Oh! Wait! He can tie! Come on, you not just TP, TP, please. Wait, don't don't actually teleport. Please don't teleport. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. No, you gotta find this person, please. Don't no dungeon's not there. Dungeon's not there. Tonight is tonight. Find it. Use your tonight's trick. No, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Wait, no, oh, please. Come on. At least get a tie. At least get a tie. At least get a tie. Come on. Come on, at least get a tie. Please. You found patient. You can't chase him. He has two hooks. He's heading to dungeon. No, he can make that. Please, no, go back for go back for Charles. He's farther away from dungeon. Come on, at least tie this up. Please, come on, Norton. 
開いていないゲートの付近にいるキャラクターの話なんですがそれがエンジニアナイスナイスナイスただヤミ選手の It doesn't matter because he still has attention but still it like if he wants to just only chip down that's really good The rock is here Boom uh Another chip Okay come on come on Come on He surely ties No he, he ties us he ties us Please, 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 please. I know you tie this, but like, there, there's this very like minuscule chance that Charles can hover and like fly above you. Please. It's not over till it's over. Come on. There. Oh no! Please, it's happening! It's happening! It's happening! No, it's happening! No, please, come on! No, no, come on, bro. No, bro. No, 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 no. Come on! I said it was a chance. There was a chance, bro. No. No, oh, he has a jetpack. No, no. Come on. Don't let. Oh, yes. He has no flyable. There's no way. He has. A, he's got a jetpack. He can't make that. Your, the power is all in your hands. You can't mess this up. You can't mess this up. He's right here. You can't mess this up. Don't overcommit. Don't overcommit. Don't overcommit. Don't get pallet stunned. Don't overcommit. Just play it patient. Be patient. You win this every time. You win this literally every time. Just wait for your axe. Rock is here. He's dead. Like I said, there we go. Just play it patient. And you win every time. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. Jeez. At least he got a tie. At least he got a tie. Oh my gosh. Oh. It was not over till it was over, dude. It's not over till it's over. He almost made it there. That was when I saw him throw the axe at the ground. I thought he was like, I thought he was giving up. I thought he just made a mistake. But he did it to cut him off from dungeon. That was actually really, really smart there. Oh. That, that was a tie. A tie is good. A tie is good. A tie is good. And the thing is, he made a lot of mistakes too. He made a lot of mistakes, like a lot of missed axes and whatnot. And like, I think if the Enchantress kite was like much worse, I, I think he could have got a 3k. I generally do. I mean, again, he did get the first hit from Blink and then like the, the attack recovery thing, but like, I think there could have been a chance for a 3k there if it wasn't Enchantress. My goodness, dude. That was good. That was good. Okay. That was good. Oh, fool's gold, bro. Fool's gold. Let's go. Nort Gaming. That was good. That was very good. Okay, I need to, I need to scroll back to double check the uh, how the other matches were. So yeah, so FAV here got a 1K, right? Yeah. And then the other person, the other people got a tie last time. So actually, FAV is losing here. They they are losing here. Yeah. Yep, that's right. All right. Well, the team I'm running for is losing. That's unfortunate. But they got a tie. They can if they can tie. I guess their survivors are up next. If they can three escape the next one, they'll they'll be tied. They'll be tied. Give him another chance. That's what I'm saying. Give him another chance. I want to see him again. I want to see him again. I don't think that wasn't even his full potential. That was just the start. That was just the beginning of the fool's gold. I hope we get to see. I hope we get to see him more. I really do. I really do. Things like his camping is good, dude. His camping is good. Like obviously, top players know how to deal with it, but like, that doesn't make it bad. Yes, fool, fool's gold was played, Nilla. The very first fool's gold match of Koa. He actually did very well. He did. He did. He didn't do bad. He didn't do bad. The thing is that Enchantress. The thing is Enchantress is so good against him. I'm starting to realize another reason for like the reason I didn't like Enchantress was because like every time Fool's Gold, like when, when we can see here, the whole the whole point of a Fool's Gold like mind game, right? Is that because like when he throws the axe somewhere, uh, like when you're in between a pallet, like right, um, like right here, when he throws the, when he throws the axe here to this pallet, a lot of survivors. Like they have to mind game. They either have to go back towards him to bait a hit, or they have to go back to like to, to go back to him to not get uh, hit by the pickaxe. Or you just transition away. The thing about Enchantress is that it really doesn't matter for her because boop, stun, and then he just doesn't matter. Because like another person, if it was anybody else, they probably would have got hit there, right? Um, unless they use like a different ability. But like a good amount of other characters could have got hit there. And there's several times where she was crossing through um areas where boop right here if he pulled back the axe she was dead but because she's enchantress she can stun and safely get to the other side of the pallet and then do a pallet mind game and then honestly she just got really lucky right there it was the same thing like right up over like here or something yeah um 
because right here, there was no stun beat she made, she made behind it. But like in, in a scenario like this, in a scenario like this, in Chance, it's, just, it's, it's like she can just go through it. It just doesn't matter. Like she just doesn't have to play the mind game, right? She just doesn't have to play the mind game when she goes through these things. It just it just doesn't apply to her because of the stun, right? Like right here, stun she can walk through, right there. That is the perfect example. See if anybody else would have rock, walked through. I mean maybe there's like a little little small portion, like barely. But I'm pretty sure anybody else walking through that would have just got hit by the axe. Like most other characters, but Enchantress could slide on right through there. So Enchantress wasn't actually even a bad pick here. It wasn't a bad pick here. Hi. Yami would have won if they were impatient. They were pretty. They were pretty impatient at sometimes. I can't even lie. They were kind of impatient. The the axe does have a very small cooldown. It will say the the axe cooldown is six seconds for those who don't know. It is very short. But those six is, those six seconds are all you need to like get behind a pallet and whatnot. Um, where is it? Yeah, six six seconds. Does Patty counter Fool's Gold then? Um, I haven't played each character enough to necessarily know, but I think there's a chance that she does, especially since every time she takes a chip, she gets a stun. Patty is good against chip hunters in, in that way, um, but again, Patty is not necessarily a meta character. But I, I don't, I don't even know how I consider Norton to be one either. They're, they're both like relatively like low mid tiers, but like when they, it's, it's character matchups maybe. Maybe she just has a good matchup against him. I'm not sure. Next, ma uh, next match, though. Next match. Here we go. Once again, we have... Uh, we've got Orf. Orf Global Ban. You hate to see it. We're probably going to see Anti-Coordinator Priestess Ban here. Anti-Priestess, most likely. On the Hunter side. Play Fool's Gold again? I would love to see another Fool's game. Seer Anti, actually. Okay. So they could pick Priestess here. All right, they, please ban Opera. Please ban Opera. Please ban Opera. I forget who Rise plays, but please ban Opera. I, I, I don't want to see another Opera game in round two. Please. They mentioned Geisha. Hmm. Opera, thank you. Woo! Opera ban. All right, who do we see here? Who do we see? Are we going to see Priestess at all? She's not bad on Leah's, I don't feel. Well, we see Priestess. Uh -huh. Well, we see Ento, I guess is another good option. Ento can cook here. We could see Patient. Ento. Lots of characters, actually. Oh, no, we can't see Patient. He's globally banned. Maybe Mike? Nah, they're not going to global ban Mike. Surely not. Who do they pick? Hmm. I guess it depends on who Rise ha uh, plays as well. I don't know who they play. Barmaid Mike! Hold on, we do see Mike gaming! But Barmaid gaming too, okay. Interesting. Are they expecting a Dream Witch? How does global ban work? The very first two characters that you pick in each round, they are globally banned for the rest of the set. So last last time they picked uh, Patient and uh, Orphe. So next round... um. For round three, Barmaid and Mike are going to be globally banned. It's it's the first two characters that Survivor picks. They ban they ban Prospector really? Huh. Wait, no. This is they're playing. They're running up for Dreamwitch then. This has got to be Dreamwitch. This is this has got to be for Dreamwitch then. This this is already like an anti Dreamwitch. Forward two. Okay, hold on. Will Will's coming out. The last ban is going to be. Who are we going to see? Embalmer. Okay. Are they going to play Dream Witch, though? Hmm. Charles. That's safe. That's safe. This, this, is a, this is a safe team. Safe meta team. Yep. Safe meta team. Is it Dream Witch, though? I don't, know if the, I don't even know if there's going to be Dream Witch. Yes, yes, Novelist was indeed played in round one by both teams, mind you, both teams. All right, let's see here. Who's going to be the hunter? 
I thought it might be Dreamwitch, but I am i don't know. Now that there's a barmaid. And I feel like the rest of these characters can deal with the Dreamwitch. I feel like you don't play Dreamwitch into this. Mm. Wax? Uh, I guess they could. Yeah, they could play Wax. I feel like Wax is pretty good against barmaid. I don't want to see Wax, bro. Mm. Bon Bon? No, you know what? We could see Bon Bon. We could see Bon Bon. It's Dream Witch, it's Dream Witch, it's Dream Witch. Okay. It's Dream Witch. It's Meme Witch. Here we go. Here we go. Meme Witch time. Here we go. <laughs> I almost spelled meme wrong. Alright, here we go. Meme Witch 4K time. Will we see it, everybody? I feel like this team can deal with Dream Witch, though. I don't know. Mm. Who do you even chase here first? Probably not the barmaid. The forward, maybe? I don't know, but like forward has ball. I mean, obviously you won't have to deal with his stuns later, but like early, early trying to get it forward. I don't know. I don't play. I don't play Dream much enough to know who you should chase here first. I feel like it's got to be. Uh, you definitely don't chase. You, you definitely don't chase Charles in Factory. You don't want to do that. You're not gonna chase Mike. I feel like it's forward or barmaid. I guess you could chase Mike. I feel like anybody here but the aeroplane is fine. Dream much counters forward. Sadly, since she can bring two followers to counter the balloon rescue. Yeah, I guess that's true. But for, forward can do something. Like I've seen forward played in a Dream Witch. And it also requires her to have the the leech and the the follower in the same spot. <laughs> but I, I guess any good any good team would keep track of that. I don't know, dude. I don't really know what happens here. I'm just not experienced enough in the Dream Witch meta. When does the set end? Um, I think in a minimum of three games. Including this one. But for FAV to tie up the set, they need a three escape here. They need a three escape. So we've got borrowed time, knee jerk on acro. Forward's got uh, borrowed time tied. Uh, same with Charles. And then knee jerk bar time on barmaid. So she's actually opting to chase the aeroplane. Okay, the one person I thought she wouldn't chase. I guess she is leaving factory, which is a little weird. I don't know why he's leaving factory. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know what the reasoning is for this. He's going to kind of pincer himself. Does he, use a, does he use a pack yet? Patroller is up. Do we see Patroller at all? She's probably going to wait for him to use his ability then, maybe? Nope. He just... Oh, wow. Oh, he used it right after he gets hit. I feel like you just you just use main body Patroller then. Right? Patroller? No? There it is. There it is. Jerry Gaming. But you just use Hover here, right? You just use hover and get away. Oh, but forward? Oh, forward. Hold on. Forward can help him cut out the patroller. He drops the pallet. Okay, that's one patroller bite. He's zooming. He's zooming. I don't... Oh, but his ability... Nope, he's dead. He's dead. Not not the greatest kite, honestly. Not the greatest kite. And then forward is here, but she sets up the leech. And yeah, now she has... Okay, now there's... Yeah, there's no way he can stun. Yeah, there's no way he can do anything now. Well, uh, is he planning on stunning on chair? No way. No, he's not. Well, forward has to do something here, but there are three followers here, dude. Oh, boy. Forward, forward. Oh, goodness. Okay, leech hit, leech hit. He gets to the chair, stuns the stuns the follower, and... Yeah, two's ball. It was on cooldown. He couldn't. It was on cooldown. Oh, boy. Is this a double down? Uh, patroller is not up yet. At least not main body patroller. No, this patroller is. Okay, hold on. Follower patroller is up. Does he use hover? Wait, barmaid with the drink? Hold on. Oh, oh! Wait, that was good. Wait. Was barmaid a bait? Was that just a bait? She's not even here to give a drink? The hover! He's flying! Yes! Charles! This is good. This is good. Barmaid? Does take the hit and immediately drinks. Dang. Immediately takes the drink. But Charles is out of there, bro. He's so far away now. 
I guess, was the barmaid just a bait then? I thought barmaid was going to give him a drink and then he'd fly on out of there. Huh. But Blink is up. No, Blink. And down he... Oh, down he goes. Alright, well... That's unfortunate. And he's out of resources now. Uh... Yeah, there's there's no way they three escape this. There's just no way. Unless unless the rise just like absolutely messes up. There's just no way. Mm. You hope Dreamwitch wins? She's, she, she's in a position to win. The Cyphers are behind. Accelerate decoding is going to take effect any second now. Mike is here? Forward is healing? I feel like they just sell... They have no tide. They just... Wait, what? Hello? We're not selling? I guess they want to push the... Hold on. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. But he can... She can go around. Oh, he's dead. Oh, jeez. The freaking laugh from Tomie. <laughs> That's what you sound like. Almost kind of sound like the Will Brothers. Yeah, he's dead, though. He's dead. All right. We get to see some Joker Persona 5. Not quite. All right. Yeah, the Cyphers are behind. They're behind a whole Cypher. This is pretty bad, actually. She can, she can. Uh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for Team FAV. Looking very good for the Dreamwitch, though. They're behind a whole cipher. Where does she even? So Akra, so Akra's wanna. Okay. But at least no, she has a leech up, so you can just leech the barmaid right here. Right. Any second now. Oh, now there it is. Yep, there it is. There's the leech. Yep, just, uh, just went off cooldown. Oh? Oh, it was in the shack? I didn't even notice it. I was like, where did she put the leech? She put it in shack. That was a really good leech placement, forcing her out of the shack area. And I don't know where the other two are. I guess, no, they're not healing up. They're starting the last cypher. Okay, they need to, wherever that, that 55 cypher is at, they need to get there. Okay, that's a leech hit. That's, that's actually good. This is good. But Blink is up. Blink is almost up. 10 seconds till Blink. Was that a... Okay. Leech is not ready. Leech is not ready. Uh, I guess she's just trying to scare them off. Forward does leave. But she has no leech. Is she trying? Oh, she's going to leech the acro. Interesting. Okay. I guess she just... Pre yeah, she's pressuring Cyphers right now. She's just pressuring... She realized that Barmaid is not worth the chase. She's rather... She's just going to try and pressure... Yeah, that's exactly what you want to do. I know that makes sense. If she kept going after Barmaid, that was looking really good for the... Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful ball from the forward, predicting the blink. Beautiful ball. All right, and they're trying to de-leech here. Whoa! That vault! The slowest vault of all time. Joker Persona 5. My goodness, I know you're a phantom thief, but you don't have to be that sneaky. My goodness. All right, forward still has a good amount of the ball. The Cyphers are being pressured here. Uh, uh, another blink? Okay. Um. The Cyphers are still behind. Nobody's on a Cypher. Barmaid found a decoy. <laughs> I think I think they can 4K this. I really do. I think that I think they can 4K this, I feel. I mean, she has no trait right now, but like... I feel like she just drags this out, depletes everybody of resources. Like, forward, forward's ball is... Forward's the only one at full health. And... Eh, takes the hit, okay. He gets the rescue, but at what cost? Nobody's on a cypher still. I don't even know what the barmaid's doing. What is she even doing? Where is she? Oh, now she's on a cypher. Okay. They need to kite like gods here. They need to kite like gods. Ideally, you chase probably the four because he's out of ball. Mike still has like two more balls left. Okay. Boom. They, they, pop the, they pop the tank. They need one more. Again, they're just behind a cypher, dude. They're all at half health, though. And she can keep leeching. Dude, the map presence is growing. I, I still feel like this is 4k. There's just no way, right? There's just no way. Unless they're close to de-leeching. There's just no way. And Blink is almost ready, too. No, there's no way, bro. There's just no way. With Blink almost ready, dude? This is a four-man escape? Yeah, Noel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Trust. He can oh! Uh, rare mistake there. Okay, I think he was looking behind him. 
and kind of ran into a tree there. The last cipher is being worked on, but the Dream Witch is going to knock uh, the Acrobat off that cipher here. Forward, this is his first chair, I believe? That is his first chair. So that's something. What is it? Barmaid's literally just been like rotating this whole time. We haven't seen Barmaid like toward the Hunter like at all. Oh boy. I don't know what they do here. Nobody has Flywheel or anything, so they can't like get any cheesy rescues with Flywheel. Plus Blink is coming back up. Barmaid is here. This pallet is still here. She vaults it. The decoy? She got the chair hit! Wait! But the blink, oh, it was before half though. Where's the cipher? The cipher's not being worked on though. The cipher's not being worked on. Oh, the cipher's being pressured. And that's it, that's it, that's the game. That's the game right there. That's it, that's gotta be it. Oh, after the chair hit from the barmaid too, man. Oh, that's so, that's, that's over. It's so over, that's 4K. Man, that was close. That was freaking close. That's it. Boop. That's a 4K right there. As I thought, they were just behind the whole cipher. Even even with the barmaid's good play. That's it. All right, this is not looking good for Team FAV. No, that's it. They just that's the set. Yeah. Okay. That's just the set because there's so many there's so many points behind. Dang, dude. That was a good Dream Witch game. That was a good game. My goodness. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Wow. I don't even know what they could have done to come back there. Like, she just she did exactly what she needed to do. She didn't, like, rush it. She didn't chase people, like, overextend. She just pressured the ciphers and then whittled everybody down of their resources and health. And then that was it. They, they just couldn't do anything after that. That was good. That, 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 was, that was peak Dream Witch gameplay right there. Exactly what she wanted to do. Very good stuff. All right, so now now that we're in between sets, now we can uh, we can do some funny funny games. We can do some funny games here. Well, we'll do a quick match of duos here. I'm I'm gonna play Orphe because I got I got excited after uh, after seeing Orphe. Let's see here. We'll go on Ever Sleeping. Here we go. I'm dropping my pen like a bot. Orf Gaming. Here we go. Where'd my pen go? It rolled so far away. Here we go. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting my notes ready for uh, for set two. Yeah, this, this is this is the last set of the day. So th this is probably gonna be a quick one then, since that first one was only four games. We this this could very well be a very quick uh, stream, which is fine, which is fine because uh, tomorrow <laughs> there are three concurrent streams happening to my knowledge. That's gonna be a lot. That is going to be a lot. All right, we need one more. E. Okay. Round one. Round two. Round three. All right, notes are done. Perfect. Let me end this poll. Awesome. All right. Oh man, dude. That. That. Th those. The Orphe games. The Fool's Gold games. That was a good set. Even though I didn't, even though the team I uh, was rooting for lost, that was just a good set. I have to give it up. It was a good set. All right, it's time. Where are you, Orf? There you are. It's Orf gaming time. Here we go. It's friendly. What's friendly? I wouldn't think so. Yo, two Orfs. Let's go. We got two Orphies. Noel re repping the Alice that they so want to see. <laughs> yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with the metaphor, for sure. What if it's all Orf? <laughs> Just eight, eight Orphies. <laughs> that would be very funny. That would be hilarious. Dang, uh, a team, team AXIZ won by a lot. My goodness. Three Orphs, let's go. Three Orphs. We love it. We love seeing three Orphies. <laughs> Go Mida. Yo, we got we got the two lucky guys here. We got lucky guy Makoto and then, well, not lucky guy like IDB, but lucky the lucky student from Danganronpa. That yeah, that was a quick set. That was a very quick set. All things considered, that was a very quick set.
But I'm honestly okay with that because if this stream is a little bit shorter, that gives me more time to prep up for some other stuff because tomorrow and the day after, those are the big days. Those are the big days. So it's it's fine to have a bit of a shorter one. It's like it's like a warm up, right? It's like a warm up for the coming uh the coming streams or whatever for me. All right, time for some Orf gaming. Here we go. Feels brighter than normal. Oh, it's right. I forgot. I turned up my brightness. That's probably why. All right, let's see here. My sound settings are super low, but hopefully you should be still able to hear it. So it uh, looks like we're uh up against Nightwatch who is farming lucky guy right now and uh buddy are you playing <laughs> and uh a fish dang you just gave that night watch presence my goodness you actually just gave that night watch presence lucky what the heck you gave him strong wind for no reason all right does he chase me though oh baby he chases me oh baby it's time to orf all over the place I dodge that. Yup. I play. I play not uh, Night Watch. I know how to play Night Watch. All right. We'll go over here first. He does drop down. Smart. Smart. But he doesn't have wind yet. We use knee jerk. Uh huh. Nope. Why do you bring blinking duos? Oh my gosh! Stop bringing blinking duos. There's no point. There's just no point, bro. Okay. Well, you don't have wind. The second I see you swing or use wind. Ahaha! Ah what the? What did you do? Nort? Are you taking the hit for me or not? <laughs> what? Was that a charge attack? Bro, Nort threw me off my game, I swear. What the heck, Nort? Alright. All like 10 of you, I'm sorry, but here I am. <laughs> huh? Huh? Okay, I got metaphor back. Let's go. Orf gaming. Yo, come in this pallet right now. Huh. Jokes. Jokes, jokes. Kaka. Nope. You gotta go around. Okay, I go this way. And then I pallet mind game. It's okay, I just win this every time. Yup. I don't know if I like the naiadness right here. And then. It's okay, I have metaphor. Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby! Orf Gaming! Oh my gosh, this is so good. I know how to kite night. Watch, why are we still at seven ciphers? Why are we still at seven ciphers? Oh, oops, I messed up. <gasps> he hit the my small version of myself! <laughs> oh boy. All right, yes, Daross Gaming, here we go. Let's go, dude. So, are we just, like, not working on ciphers? <laughs> uh, I can't... I, I'm so scared I'm gonna run into Nia at any moment. Nice, nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, now we go to Corner House. What we do here is go back. Oh, I'm sorry, Noel. He is now at full presence. So we gotta be a little more careful. Nope. I feel like at that point, yeah, he's just, he's just gonna go for Noel now. Sorry, friend. Dang! That was kind of long. My goodness. Alright, I do need to heal up and probably grab an attention pill or something because, uh... Dang. These ciphers are kind of far behind. Can't even, like... Wait, he's cheering right here. Ah! Oh, wait. Nyad's here. Peta. The fish is... Oh my gosh, I'm getting pincered. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I'm about, I'm about to get pincered. Nice. Can I at least get my heal off? Yes! Orf Gaming! Orf Gaming! <laughs> <sighs> Yo, I get this off. I get this off. We're fine. Oh. So that just... Okay. Uh, this pallet is still here. I make this. I make this. I make this. I make this. Ha <laughs> ha! Even with your fast attack speed, fish. She's gonna try and water it off. Nope. No? Don't swap to blink, I'll cry. What are we doing? Why did- Why? Why? Why do you- Why? Just why? I don't understand. 
Why blink in duos? I just don't get it, man. I just don't understand. Okay. That pallet is still there. Fish does not... Uh? Oh, she's messing up. She's messing up. Okay, Metaphor is charging really slowly right now. But it's okay. Night Watch is over there. I gotta be careful. Oh. Nort? Thank you, I guess? Peep this Orphic Gaming! <laughs> I'm bad. I'm bad. I could not do what the top players can. Alright, I should be able to make it to this pallet. Nice. You can dash. You can dash. I'll drop it first. Oh, sorry. Sorry, my younger self. <laughs> I just made you kind of useless, huh? Oops. Oh, she's not even chasing him anymore. Awesome. All right. See, now now is when we can get a speed pill. Look at this, bro. All raw kiting, all Orphy kiting, bro. We're so good. Flare gun for funnies, because you guys both have blink for some reason. Whew. No, well, no, I got you. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Nope. Peep my metaphor. Noelle! I got you! She has blink! Don't come to this chair! I said don't do it! Oh my goodness! I got you, I got you, I got you. Alright, I literally thought I had you. But I'll come back for you, okay? <laughs> no, I totally have another gun. 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 Believe me. I oh, I'm a bot. I'm bot. I'm bot gaming. <laughs> oh boy. All right, it's okay, Noel. The cipher will be primed soon. I'll be back for you. Wait, you've already been chaired. What the? All right, I guess right now is okay. I'm nervous for the night watches. Oh no, never mind. They got you. They got you. Here, let me let me give you some distance. Stop that fish. Stop that. There we go. I'll give you some distance, Noel. There you go. What? What? <laughs> Stop that. Stop. I, okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no. Oh, I was cutting the whole game, bro. The whole darn game. Gosh. Well, I think I did okay, all things considered. I think I did well. The Night Watch came out of nowhere, bro. He came out of nowhere. I would have had that. I would have had that, bro, if it wasn't for that Night Watch coming out of nowhere. Oh, boy. Well, um... I don't know what that last cipher is at. But I hope somebody's working. Okay, it looks like Lucky Guy is on a... Oh, it's only at 69. Ugh, that could be a little farther along. Well, I have no flywheel. My metaphor is at 60... About two-thirds ready. It's going to take probably four, five seconds to charge up. All right, Noelle is here. I think. No, that's fish. I thought I saw Noelle. Uh, no, there they are. Okay. The perfume. Oh, my. Thank you for the body block. I go upstairs. Yeah, focus on the coating because I don't have borrow time. Pop it. Thank you. I'm a bot. Oh, but knee jerk. Yes. My full kite build. See ya. <laughs> I don't think they know that they can cancel it. See ya. I make this. Nice. Wait, she has blink. She's going to have blink eventually. The question is when. When will she use it? That's not blink. I heard teleport. Wait, so who started with blink? No, Nightwatch started with blink. Nightwatch teleported. Uh-huh. Her dash should not be up. I don't think she has any of the... No. You still have blink. I know you still have blink. I'm just pallet saving you. No blink? No blink? I'm scared of blink. Ugh, I know you have it! I... Okay. Where's dungeon, by the way? Nobody's even has dungeon open. All right, I think I'm just gonna... I've just gotta try and book it for the gate, I think. 
I ran into that. I'm bad. Oh my gosh. I have to stay I have to stay away from the water. <sighs> okay. Ugh. That sucks. Okay. We move. Come on, Orf. No, that was terrible. I that was terrible. That was terrible. That was terrible. Oh my gosh. I have no resources. I'm gonna die. I'm dead! <laughs> Why did I get no support, like, at all? <laughs> I was on my own in the freaking corner. I couldn't escape, bro. Oh, gosh. I couldn't escape at all. Oh. Orf. Orf gaming, bro. Orf gaming. Alright. Wait, mercenary! Tell me you have tied! <laughs> Please! I need you now, my friend. Uh, you're a mercenary. It's fine if you get terror shock. Just go. Oh my gosh. I need to get out of here. Oh, the window. I make this. Oh my gosh. No, I don't make this. I don't. The trim. It's my only way. <laughs> it's my only way. The tram! The Night Watch is gonna get off with me, though. I don't have metaphor or anything. Can somebody, like, get on with me or gun? I'm gonna, like, literally be a alone. <laughs> I'm just gonna die with this Night Watch all alone. Oh, boy. Alright, well, guys. What we He's gonna fast win, so what we do is we get off. Cut. Yeah, cut line of sight. Perfectly. The pallet is gone. And then we zoom. He's zooming too. I can make it to the pallet. I can't make this. He's gonna have wind. And the freaking fish! Why do I just don't- Why don't I get any support at all? Why am I completely alone? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why did I have to fend by myself like the whole game, bro? Oh my gosh, dude. What was that? What was that, dude? Oh gosh. What was that? What what e what even? <laughs> Almost 500 seconds, huh? That's, that's quite a while. Oh gosh. That's some orf gaming, bro. That's some orf gaming. So, where was the Cypher Rush? <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, that was full kite build. Gun. Speed pill. Flywheel. Yeah. The Alice assist was good. I That was definitely really helpful early game. But I had, like, no late game assistance at all. Even though I was kiting for, like, so long. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. Orf gaming is so fun, though. I, I love playing Orf. What is this? Oh, that's the event. I can't do that right now. All right, we don't have enough time for uh, another duos, but... We can probably do something. We have six minutes. I think I think at this point, we, we, do, uh, we do the 1v1s. <laughs> Come here, Noel. You wanted you wanted something, right? You wanted something. I don't know what you wanted, but you wanted something. I know that. So, do I hunt or are you hunting? You're hunting. Okay. Let's go on. Uh... You know, no, no, no. Let's let's go on. Let's go on dank woods. <laughs> dank woods. Your throat is burning, but I want to stay so bad. What do I do? What do you mean? You want to stay so... Well, you can watch the stream if your throat hurts. I don't, I don't really get the idea. I mean, I guess what you should do is probably gargle with salt water. Ideally. Alright, it's time. Orf Gaming! It's time to orf all over the place. 
Bro, not you are not the S1 Jack. Don't even try me. Don't even try me. I am literally the S1 Jack. You can't beat me. I hope you know that. I can literally kite a ripper for like 10 ciphers. S2 Jack. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Coming from my S badge Jack, are we? Oh, boy. That's funny. Listen, the only way you can beat me is if you use hacks. I should let you know this. It's the only way. Actually, I'm kind of curious. I wonder if on Dankwoods, if I use like the little ropes, I wonder if you can foggy those. I mean, no, I know you can. I know you can because I, I am literally the S1 Ripper. Um, but I'm kind of curious. Or I would be kind of curious if I wasn't the S1 Ripper. Okay, so where are you? There you are. Go ahead. I'll give you. I'll give you one free hit. Come on. Come on, use your foggy. There we go. Okay. <laughs> See now, now you now you have to. <laughs> I'm about to die, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm already about to die. That's funny. Nice, nice. But you don't have foggy blades, so like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do without the most broken ability in the game, huh? Uh oh. Looks like Noah has the most broken ability in the game ready. Uh-oh, somebody's not the S1 Ripper. Somebody's not that. If you have Blink, you're cringe. <laughs> Why do you have insulin? No, wait, no, I get it. In insulin's trump card, right? Insulin's trump card. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I'm running up against a wall. We love to see that. So do you have... Is that foggy? No way! I think you're hacking, bro. You've got to be hacking. Sure. So you did have Blink. <laughs> Good hack blade, bro. Good hack blade. Nice hack blade. Where'd you go? Bro, where are you? Nice hack blade. I should say that was a beautiful hack blade. Not a good foggy blade though, but a good a good hack blade. A good hack blade. <laughs> oh boy. What a, what a beautiful hack blade. S1.5 Ripper. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, all right. Now the real question is, here we go, here we go. Can you hit that foggy again though? Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Nice hack. <laughs> even doing at this point what are we even doing oh boy that's so goofy what's actually funny is even if i even if uh i can't even cancel the foggy blade with my uh with my hold on uh, let me hold on throw throw out foggy blade and i'll react to it trust throw it out i'll react so you see how i press my 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 thing there you see how it didn't come out <laughs> It doesn't cancel the foggy blade. It's actually pretty funny. There's a new first ripper in town. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. The only the only rippers that have a higher score than me are hackers. I am the S1 ripper. I will always be the S1 ripper. People forget to call violinist Vaya, so I thought you were talking about Violetta. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right, now peep this 10,000 hour basement cube kite right now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here. Yeah. 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 I just remembered I had flywheel. <laughs> I wonder, I know, okay. I saw a glitch the other day where prospector can like put people in this cage. Is that like real? In the, in the basement cube, is that real? You take S1 Melee? Listen, I know I'm not S1 Melee. I know I'm not S1. Oh, you want to test this. Okay, I'm actually curious about this. You should be able to Foggy Blade as I'm riding it. Let's see. Here I go. Ha ha! So it does work. I mean, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> he looks so stupid. <laughs> he looks so stupid when he jumps over, bro. Oh, that's funny. That is hilarious. So like, if you're a Jag, you can just hit over that and it doesn't even matter. That's actually really funny. 
I knew that though. I knew that. I knew that. Here I go again. Just try to hit me this time. Oh, I, I meant. Just try to hit me this time. <laughs> oh, dude, why is this not a legal map? This map is so goofy, bro. Why is this not a legal map? All right, hold up, hold up. They're they're starting. They're starting. They're starting. They're starting. Bye bye. That was so goofy, dude. Oh, that was so goofy. Play golden? Huh? Golden what? I miss golden so much. I'm confused. Oh, golden cave. I see. Yeah, rest in peace, golden cave. Stuck in customs only. All right, let's switch back here. And then we, I think we get player stats first, but I, I want to make sure we don't miss anything. No golden, no golden cave is goofy. I still want to, I want to, I still want to explore all of it. You got competition for the S1 Jack, I fear. Yeah, well, listen, when you're using Hackblade like that, like, come on now. When you use Hackblade, when you stop, when you can stop relying on Hackblade, like, yeah, that, then, then I'll, then I'll let you, uh, maybe be the S2 Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> but at this point, I am I will never be dethroned. Oh, interesting. Wait, they have three hunters? Interesting. I didn't even notice. Wait. I thought we already saw Team MY. Did they always have three hunters? That's interesting. Huh. You're playing Zack Jack, not Hack Jack? Well, Zack Zach Jack is literally Hack Jack. Like, literally, when you pick that skin, like, you, it's literally instant win. Right, you can't lose with that skin. I've never seen anybody lose with that skin. Oh yeah, Yuri's back. We might, we might see the Yuri Alva again, yeah. <laughs> literally pay to win. <laughs> exactly, exactly. He was, he was a shop skin, right? Please watch the fun way to count patroller. It's only 13 seconds really quick. Is that an official thing or is that a fan made thing? Because I don't want to steal content if it's fan made. If it's official, I'll take a look at it. But I don't want to steal anybody's content. One hundred percent win rate. Wow. How do you have one hundred percent win rate before eliminate rate is zero? Oh, I guess your average elimination rate is three, so you just have never got a four K. <laughs> That's interesting. That's your dream, which Noel? No way. I thought you're an Antonio journalist main, hardcore. You're, you're, you're staying away from it now? 0% the, the jump, bro. The jump from 100 to 0 is so funny. The Tomie dream match? I, I swear Tomie is pretty popular. I feel like most I feel like most of the Dream Witch skins that I see is usually Tomie. One v one my Jack. Listen, I I hope you guys know any Jack that I fight, I'm only going to just be disappointed because you'll never be on the same level as my totally awesome S1 Jack. S1 Jack in every server, by the way. S1 Jack on NAEU, S1 Jack on Asia, S1 Jack on China, and S1 Jack on the test server. And you know, you know how crazy it is? I don't even have access to the test server, and I'm already S1. That's how you know how good I am as Jack. <laughs> Zero <laughs> percent win rate again, yo! What is happening? Oh, that's so funny. You don't need to watch it on stream. I just want to see a reaction. Okay. All right. I, I might take a look at that later, but again, I don't want to steal people's content if that's not official. The only the only content I'll react to is if it's something that somebody has made and they have given me permission to watch it, or if it's official. I don't want to steal anybody's content. You always die to Jax. I mean, I'm not. I'm saying Jack's a pretty powerful character. I mean, like with Foggy Blade, it's the best ability in the game. Like, what can I say? <laughs> like I know how powerful the character is. That's why I main him, right? That's why I'm the S1 Jack. Like, right? Come on, guys. 
Plus, every time I go up against a Jack, anytime I lose, it's just because I felt bad. It's just because I felt bad for them. Trust. That's 100% the reason why. I feel bad that they'll never be as good as my S1 Jack. So I, I just I just throw. Yep. Totally real. Totally totally lower accurate. I don't know what's up with these win rates. These are... <laughs> These 0% win rate. I, again, I don't really know where they pull these stats from. Zeus said that they were from... Uh, uh, Zeus said they were from the Abyss matches, but people in chat said they were from IVL, so I'm not sure. Another 0% win rate, wow. Poor Mike Gaming. Tycoms, potentially. Even Mike Gaming. Am I gonna do 1v1s on Asia? Probably not today, since uh, th this, is, this is a shorter day. But maybe tomorrow. This has to be a glitch. I'm not sure. Again, I don't know where they pull these stats from. This is no. This is my acro. This is my acrobat. My acrobat is literally this. My win rate with acrobat is zero. Actually, hold on. Let me see. I, I can. I, I can pick up. I can see my win rates for characters. Where is my acro? <laughs> yup, zero percent win rate. Yup. <laughs> oh, it's funny. That is funny. Yep, that, that's definitely my acrobat. Proof, proof right here, guys. Proof is right here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Smiley. Yeah, I want to see some smiley. Please, bro, please. Why is tomorrow and the day after important again? Uh, because not only... 0% <laughs> again, what the heck? Um, not not only is are we getting Japan qualifiers day 5, but we're also starting China and Southeast Asia. So there's going to be three different Koa streams going on tomorrow, or at least three, three different, like, three different uh, regions playing. So there's going to be a lot of Koa content coming tomorrow. I don't think it's going to be all about one stream. I think it's going to be on three different streams, I think. I actually don't know. I don't know how it works, but we'll see. We'll have to see. There's four? Four? No, I think there's only three. I'm pretty sure there's only... And less. Pretty sure there's only three. But I think NAU is next weekend. Let me see here. Yeah. Looks like there's only three. Because have, they have three little, three little bars. The multicolor is just is is the multicolor thing is just how they how they do the colors for Southeast Asia and and the EU. Oh wait, but I guess it's both. I guess it's Southeast Asia and Chinese HKMOTW. So is that too different then? Hmm. Probably not be the same street. Maybe. I guess it is both. I thought they would do it both in the same stream. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to see. I guess there is a chance for four. I don't know though. I don't know. We'll have to see. I figured they would just do it in one. If they if they're if they're categorizing it as one thing, you think that they would uh do it in the same stream, but I'm not sure. Why do I have a bookmark folder named Cipher? It's for Fire and Cipher cards. Which I bought a bunch of a long time ago. Uh, there, there's basically 21 boxes that have come out for a long time. And I spent like a whole year and a half collecting all 21 boxes. And I still haven't opened any of them. And it's been like two years. Oh yeah, it's definitely for Cypher Machines. My bad, yep. <laughs> I just have a bunch of Cypher Machines in there. Here we go. We're getting some better win rates now. 20%. Yeah. Give me that 20% win rate. The Mercoder. Yo, Mercoder with the 132? I, again, I, I don't think the, the characters specifically are like in line with the stats. I think these are just the characters that they prefer playing. So it's not necessarily all their characters. We most likely will see an Alva this set if Yuri will play. Yuri seems pretty confident with the Alva. I don't know if we'll see another round one Alva, but there's a chance. 
はい、YouTube とかでもね、かなり上がってきて、うまいなって思うシーンは多くあるんですが。まあ、oh, yeah, we didn't see any anti games last time. She was banned every time. <laughs> She is banned every single time. Charles? Yeah, no, Charles is super popular. Ever since he was available in tournament, he's been played like almost all the time. He's a very strong character. Which is sad because, again, like. The, before he was played in tournament, dude, this character was never played. He was, he was like very rarely ever played. And I, I'm glad because I'm glad that like he's a strong character because tournament finally gave him the chance to shine that he deserved. Like, I wasn't around for when Charles released, but apparently he didn't even have Essence, right? He just had a shop skin and that was it. Like, he didn't have an Essence S tier, to my knowledge. I don't know if that's false information, but that's just what I've heard before. All right, here we go. It's gonna be it's gonna be opera singer most likely unless we see hermit round one. But even then, it's true. That's so sad. Why would they do that for poor Charles, man? Only got a store S tier, bruh. That's depressing. They do three essences every season almost. They couldn't even give the poor boy a limited S. Bro, he's gotta get. He's, he's surely gotta have one next season, right? I mean, I guess I say that, and there's still a lawyer, but like, <laughs> surely he's gotta have one eventually. Okay, they ban they ban uh, Aesop and they ban Anti. So unfortunately, Antiquarian will not be able to watch Antiquarian. Can we see Orphy though? Can we see Orf? Leo's memory. No, no Orf yet. Cord and Emil. Come on, I want to see Orf, bro. I want to see Orf come back. There's no way they ban Orf now, right? After watching that first round? Seer? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm seeing less gardeners recently. There's no way we see another Orf, right? Surely not. Probably maybe a rescuer, maybe mercenary? Mercenary officer here? Or aeroplanist? One of those three, I'm guessing. Lawyer! Freddy Riley Gaming! All right, then. Well, now they have to have a rescuer. Now they have to. Officer or mercenary. All right, so this is a pretty standard opera team, then. Yep, they ban officer, so it's mercenary. It's 100% it's mercenary. Unless they do Mike Gaming and they're just balling, but no, it's mercenary. Yep, it's Merc. It's Merc. It's Soul Nib. I know you guys want to see Alice. <laughs> Noel, Noel's got like a whole band and he's got the whole, the whole chat on the Alice, but again, Alice is not coming out until later rounds. I hate to tell you. She's just not as strong as Merc and Officer. Like Mer Merc and Officer are just the two best rescuers and I guess Charles is up there too. So we most likely see um, lawyers might, lawyer, lawyer and patient, there's a chance for them to not have borrowed time, but Mercenary is going to have borrowed time tied. Cord could have Lily a mix of anything. Most likely we'll have Ty Turner though. I feel like Cord will have Ty Turner, Lily, anything else. Coordinator is a really fun character because you can kind of run anything you want on her. I, I I enjoy the characters that you can just run whatever you want on. Makes them more flexible. All right, let's see here. I mean, it's gonna be opera. It, it's just it's gotta be opera. But it's more it's more the builds. What are we gonna see the builds? Yep, opera. <laughs> Round one, opera moment. <laughs> Flopra singer, <laughs> 4K. Is that what we're gonna see? We haven't been seeing. We haven't been seeing many opera singer 4Ks. I think in all of Koa, I think we've seen like maybe one or two so far. Hi, Skushenka. I still don't know how to pronounce her name, but I think I've subscribed to them. Posted a video from the test server regarding the new trait and how it looks. Interesting. We, we might take a look at that after this match. That could be interesting. If that, that if that's the wormhole footage, we might take a look at that. I really hope I get access to the test server one day, dude. I don't know how you do, but I really hope I do someday. What do you mean Melee Hunter form got announced? There's no way. There's no way. Don't mess with me. You can't do this to me. <laughs> Alright, does she just chase Lawyer here? She can probably get to Lawyer fast enough. 
you read it somewhere i don't know if it's true then why would you spread it that's how rumors spread if you don't have a source then don't say it <laughs> That's what I say anyway. If it's not coming from like a very, 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 uh, you know, good leaker, uh, one that one that has like a good source and has been has a good track record, or uh, not from Netties themselves, then it's just not true. All right. So this is this is gonna be a pretty standard opera game, most likely, pretty standard opera comp, but uh, it's more just how how the kites and uh, how the rotations and what are gonna go so she's gonna chase the lawyer first right i think he's gonna head up the stairs with map he is gonna head up the stairs with map yep okay she's actually opting not to chase the lawyer first interesting does not want to have to deal with factory i guess hmm. are we gonna see her chase actually opting to chase the patient is interesting huh i know lawyer had an early rotation with the map but i feel like it was pretty predictable where he wanted to go I feel like you should have just chased the lawyer there. Your opera saying you could make it to him quick enough. But what do I know? Ooh. Oh! That's my patient! That's literally my patient. He's dead. He's literally dead. This is such a fast down. He's dead. He's dead. He's. She messed up her dash! He should have been dead. She messed it up. She has abnormal? Wait. That's that's a really good hook. Yep. Okay. That's much better. That's that's one of the best hooks. That's why patience good on Leo's because that hook is so good. Obviously, it's not like crazy good against Opera herself, but um. Huh? Excuse me. And now she can abnormal. I mean, Lawyer Cipher is only at, like 32 or something, so it's not even that good. But uh, I feel like you just abnormal it. Are you not gonna have normal? Are you not gonna use your trait? I know it's not gonna decrease it by much, but it's something. I feel like you just use your trait and then put it on cooldown. Oh, the lag? Okay, you love to see it. I don't know why she's not abnormaling. Whoa! What the? What was that? Oh, that was knee jerk. I was about to say, yeah, so Cord has no borrowed time, I just realized. She's the only one without borrowed time, actually. Are you gonna see a gun to help? Yup, there's the gun. Alright. And so are we gonna use that abnormal? At all? We're just not I feel like you should just have normal there. Cause the thing is they're just gonna come back for this cipher. And it probably would have been nice to have normal. These are some jank dashes, I can't even lie. Why why aren't you just this is some weird opera gameplay. I can't even like. I I don't get it. Can you not dash between the things on Leo's? I feel like sh I feel like this person's not doing the dashes correctly. They keep hitting out of dash, and not just going zigzag. I feel like they just zigzag for more speed, right? I, I don't know. The yellow ping dash? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. No, I feel like if there was a ping issue, they'd pause. See, now this is looking really good for the survivors. And now the abnormal cipher that you could have abnormal is being worked on again. So now you're basically just playing this traitless. You basically are playing this traitless. You didn't even use your abnormal. And you're kind of far from any cipher. Unless you like dash toward a cipher abnormal and then teleport back, I don't see why you would even bring abnormal at this point. You have to you have to abnormal something. Quick. You have to get there and teleport back. Please just abnormal. Please just abnormal. There we go. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Alright. That's something. That's something. She actually used her trait. <laughs> I still feel like it would have been better to... Eh, I don't know. She can still tie this. She can still tie this. Because tie turner is going to be here. And then... She did. She hasn't swapped yet. Hits mercenary. It's going to be a double down. And then... Teleport back. Okay, okay. Nice. She's trying to hit patient. She missed. She missed. She didn't get patient. Mercenary got the body block. And I stands in the way. Okay. Even with the abnormal, though, the cypher has climbed back up. Boop. Down you go. Yeah, so at this point, I feel like abnormaling the first cypher would have been better, because, um... I guess it doesn't really matter, because now you can share mercenary 
And then you force the lawyer in. Oh, she's going for the cipher. Oh, never mind. Hmm. So... I feel... Do you guard this and I'm normal it again? Ooh, almost. Hmm. She left Mercenary on the ground. She's forcing them off the side. I, I, maybe she's waiting for abnormal before she commits. And nope. Wow, I thought she was in the pallet. Okay, I thought that was going to be a pallet stun there. She's going to take a hit here. Yep. Mercenary is being healed, I think. Did he use up his self heal? He did. He did use up his self heal. Okay, so, so. There's the abnormal. Down to 48. Okay, hold on. Wait. There's the pause. Maybe that okay, maybe there was some yellow ping there. That was this is a weird match though, I can't even lie. I do feel like if she used the abnormal first, I know it was only gonna be 30%, but even then. Like the other cipher got done anyway. I feel like by the time she used abnormal for the third time. And I feel like when she got to the cipher, it would have already been at like 50 or something. I don't know. I would have I would have used abnormal there early. Cause then the thing is like my my abnormal cooldown would come back faster. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe that's maybe maybe there's bad ping. Maybe maybe there's a uh, technical issues happening right now. I don't know. But there there's our first pause of the day, which is a bit unfortunate. But hopefully it's not too long. Oh god, pauses can be anywhere from a few minutes to a long time. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I, I've seen pauses go on for a very long time. The one hour pause. I think the longest pause I've seen is like 20 minutes. It was long. It was very long. I think that was during IVL there was one of those. I could be wrong. What do I think of Geisha? I think Geisha's pretty cool. She's a, she's a fun hunter to watch. Pretty scary to go up against. I'm pretty bad against Geisha. But um, I think she's fun to watch and fun to play. And again, the, the whole the whole Geisha being nerf thing was definitely uh, a rumor. But I don't even think Geisha needs a nerf. I, I think she's just fine. Like she has, she has like uh, of, of like most hunters, I think she has like some of the most glaring like she has like very high highs and very low lows, right? Because she gets tight cut into oblivion. But her tra like the anti transitioning that she has is so good. It is so good. Like her speed at full presence, dude. It's like it's insane. And the fact that she basically always has blink. It basically feels like an omni blink always. I don't know. I think she's strong though. I, I think she's a strong hunter. I don't know if she's top five, but I, I think she's definitely top ten. I, I think I think Geisha's a top ten hunter easily. Not that there's that like too much competition, but I, I think there's only like ten meta hunters anyway. Uh, but she's definitely she's definitely one of them. She is 100%. Nyad did not need a buff. She needs a nerf. I don't like Nyad, right? I don't, I don't, I don't like fighting Nyad. But I, I don't, I don't think the buff is bad. Because at least for me, the biggest problem with Nyad is her freaking swing speed. That's what I don't like about Nyad. And the fact that it's not just the swing speed, but it's the swing recovery speed too. She swings fast and then she can hit again so fast. So it makes palette mind games against her abysmally like horrible for me. Like I'm already bad at palette mind games, but against nine with an insane, insane like attack swing like that with decent, like good enough range, like that's the kind of stuff that I hate. Cause it's just, it's so fast. It's just like, it just feels like a, like bam, bam, bam. It's just like constantly hitting you. I really don't like that. All right, anyway, pause is over, pause is over. But like when it comes to like her dashing and whatnot, she only got like a very small buff to where uh, her cooldown for the dash comes back a little faster. Which honestly, I don't even think it's going to make that big of a difference. It's just going to make her a little bit stronger. J just ever so slightly stronger. But at top level, Nyad is just is a draw hunter, so they don't really know how to deal with uh, things like that. So, Okay, anyway, back to the match. The Cypher is at 48. Everybody is damaged. So now... What do they do? Are they healing? No, they're starting a new cipher. No, they're both starting a new cipher. Hold up, but she's heading to them. Uh, did coordinator warn them? Um, coordinator's going back to the cipher. Hold on. Oh, but they're out of resources. That's the mercenary. He has no self heal. Does have borrowed time though? She's going back for that cipher. 
Can they rotate, please? You have to start. You have to early rotate. They, the teammates, I feel like they just have to rotate so early. Because now Cord's dead here. She's just dead. If she rotated, she could have gone all the way up in the factory. Like, all the way up in the two star and then came down, I feel like. I mean, you have some pallets here, but she teleports back and then dead. No? You're blind? We're blind? Hold on. Knee jerk speed, it's not gonna be enough because Opera's just too fast. Boom, down you go. Um, I feel like you just chair teleport to Cypher. No, it's gonna be ready. This is basement too. Um, They just pop, okay. That's actually smart, that's actually smart. So this is a one escape, surely. They can tie this, but it's it's gonna be really difficult to tie this. And I feel like unless the opera messes up, I feel like this is just 3k no matter what. Because mer mercenary, nobody's gonna go for the rescue unless mercenary is. No, mercenary's going for gate. He's going for. No wait, mercenary's here. Yeah, wait, is, no, this isn't mercenary. I'm sorry. This is freaking lawyer. I'm dumb. I, these skins mess me up, dude. These kids mess me up. The lag, bro. Oh, the teleport? Playing it safe. Wait. This might be the chance that they need. She doesn't have tinnitus. No, mercenary is at the gate. Where's dungeon? Dungeon's not a triple pallet, though. Jeez, opera's so fast. Where's dungeon? Where's dungeon? Oh, it's so far away. It's at Christmas tree. She's playing it safe. Oh my goodness. There's no way. She's playing this so safe. She is playing this so safe. That's a draw. That's a draw. That is a draw. Why would you play it so safe as Opera? I don't understand why you play that so safe. I don't know. That's a tie? That, I mean, I get it's the coordinator's long chair time, but why would you play it safe there? I don't get it. I don't get why, like, if they rescue, they're in basement. So then, you, once you know that they get the rescue, you immediately book it for the basement and you kill another one. Like, you're fast enough to get to basement, like, within 10 seconds. I don't know, dude. That was that was kind of weird. I can't even lie. I feel like that should have been a 3k. I, I feel like that should have been 3k. Um, let me see here. Okay. Uh, that was STR as hard. Okay. So that's a 2k for some reason. Yeah, that, that was that was interesting. I felt I felt like the dashes weren't exactly uh, on point there either. Like, hold on. Let, let me let me see here. Let me see here. Um, where was it? I'm the opera main here. Wait till night and Angel. <laughs> Hold on. It was like, was it here? I think it was here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wh what? Is, what is this? I don't get this. I don't get this. Opera. What you should be doing here is zigzagging between these things for like super speed, but she's just swinging. I don't understand why. Like, I feel like as opera, you just zigzag between these things, get a ton of speed. And then, like, why? And then right here, why is she swinging? Why is she just swinging? Like, she clearly can see the trail. Like, I don't I don't understand this. Um, like, right here is fine, right? Right there, that makes sense. But then she does it here, too. Like, you can 100% zigzag down these things. But she doesn't. I don't understand. Maybe some opera mains can let me know. I feel like this is just not optimal, though. Like, I feel like she can be so much faster than this. That's a connected shadow? No, but back... That, is it all... All of those are the same shadow? What? It's connected? That's a connected shadow, shadow so she can switch to get- Wait, really? Is it really? The stairs all count as one shadow- Really? Oh, okay, that makes more sense then. Really? That's weird. Huh. I kind of want to test that. What? 
That's so... I didn't know about that. Wait, that's really good then, because then Opera has to slow down. Then what? Then then all the more reason for them to... The coordinator to transition and go up that way then. If that's the case. That's weird. What? Hold on. I guess that is... That's so odd then. Huh. As an Opera player, I despise it. I didn't know about that then. Huh. Okay, well then, like, then yeah, that's like super good. Then at that point, again, why not? Why not just go upwards toward that when Coordinator was there before? Because then Coordinator died. It. I don't know. It's the stairs in Leo's memory. On okay, so it's not. Is it only at the stairs area? Well, there's two sets of stairs. Can you loop her in factory then? I don't know. I don't. I don't play this character now. I'm just. I'm trying to discover this here. Hold on. I just don't know how to play this character. <laughs> I've only played her in customs, bro. Does like you zigzag and do all this kind of stuff. Oh wait, I this is customs. Hold on. So can now will this go into cooldown now? Okay, there we go. So this all counts as one shadow, huh? Let me see here. Yeah, the window does connect. Oh, so that's so like what? It does! I see. Okay, so yeah, it goes into cooldown then. I get it now. So that's that's why it's all of this. So you can do the go in the shadow, get the speed boost, come out, go in, then swing, come out. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. I see it. It does put you into cooldown then. Interesting. Okay, see, these are the types of things I just don't know, right? I just don't know about these things. Again, I just don't play opera. So yeah. Interesting. So is this one of her weaker maps then? Interesting. That's really weird. So you can't so you can't do it here either then, right? Um or no, you should be able to do it from here. No, that counts as the same. What? Why does this count as the same? It's not even connected anywhere. It ends. That's weird. Bruh. That's interesting. Huh. Dang, so, so this, just must, this just must not be one of her stronger, uh... So that's a different one, then. Yeah, because see, I, I get I get no cooldown from that. But when I when I go all the way up over here... Now I'm in cooldown. Yeah, okay, so that's just a thing, huh? All right, I see it now, I see it now. I just didn't understand. Interesting, interesting. So that must be one of her weaker maps, then. That This, this is good to know. That's really good to know. That's really good to know. I didn't know about that. That's so good to know. That's like that's like actually good opera counterplay knowledge. Why is it so dark? Who turned down like the freaking brightness? What? Why is it so dark? Am I tripping? This looks so much darker. Hold on. No, I guess it's always been like that. This feels darker for some reason. Am I dumb? I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just dumb. Anyway, gardener, seer, officer. This is just opera comp. Banning, antiquarian, Aesop, Merc, Charles. Oh, Merc and Charles. Uh, but they got officer, so they're fine. Mic gaming. Here we go. Time for some mic moments. The, the area highlighted by orange is all the same shadow. Oh, okay, interesting. I didn't know that. Again, I don't play opera, so I, I don't know these things. All I know is opera go fast. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I guess an area like that in Leo's memory is gonna be really good. So is that? I wonder. Is that the same for like hotel then? No hotel. I don't know. I would. I don't know. I, these are just all things I have to feel like I. I feel like I have to test now. So is that the same in like Chinatown Hotel, Chinatown Connected? Is it like same with all two-story areas then? Why is Mike's head so big? I I don't know. It is kind of big, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. Have you went against a geisha that's good in rank lately? Uh, I haven't played much Survivor rank recently. I haven't had the time. But whenever whenever I do play Survivor rank, like there's a one out of five chance it's a geisha. Because in the mid tiers, you fight like the same five to six hunters over and over and over again. Mm. It's Liddy's geisha, bloody queen, and 
Nyad, um, Hermit, Nightwatch. Hermit's not as popular, but I've been running into it more. That's an opera, yep, opera. As expected. No, I don't see much Jack. Not much Jack, but it's it's. Ba I really basically I, I see a good amount of Nightwatch. I, I basically see like the same like five to seven hunters over and over and over again. Mm. Percy's pretty popular, eh, so, sort of. He's he's somewhat popular. Had a chat eyes yesterday. And he cooked this. I I always love running into a chat eyes in rank because like watching a good chat eyes is crazy. And there's not very many good. <laughs> there's not very uh, very many of them. Right, Lily, when Zeus got a 4K as Mad Eyes, he got a C badge after one game. That's how you know how like little people play the character, and like the character is so hard, dude. He's so hard. I I play. I there was when Mad Eyes was free the other day. I literally stayed up and played like 15 Mad Eyes games, and I I swear I surrendered in like 12 of them, and I got ties in like three of them. It's he's so hard, dude. He's such a difficult character to play. Because the thing is, early game, you want to be on your consoles and set up your walls. But then all the servers just drain you of energy so that there's no point. So then your, your character becomes straight chase equals lose because he has zero straight chase abilities. Like, he only has the walls. And, like, if he has no energy, then big rip. It's really difficult to play that character. Anyway, here we go. It's round uh, one, second half. Opera. Let me set up the thingy. Maddox is harder than Dream Witch? Uh, I haven't played enough Dream Witch to know. I feel like, I feel like Dream Witch has better tools than Mad Eyes, though. Mad Eyes is 100% a special pick. Alright, here we go. I'm also going to keep it simple this time because the match has already started. Alright, um, let's see. Borrow time, knee jerk on Seer. Borrow time, tied on Officer. Borrow time, knee jerk on Gardener. And tied, knee jerk on Mike. Ooh, no borrow time with the Mikester. We got Haro Persona 5 out here. Alrighty. And we're just going to be looping this area for now. Teleport back. But she predicts it. Beautiful work from the Gardener. Okay, this is a good kite so far. And she's like, yep, I don't want to deal with Shaq. No, maybe? Are we going to deal with Shaq today? We have Blink Detention Trump card. Standard stuff. <laughs> Where's that confined opera at, bro? <laughs> yeah, she's getting away with that knee jerk. Okay, this is, this is ideally, honestly, like a good first chase. Uh, you, you, want, you want to chase the Garner. The bubble is gone, though. Oh. This is a good kite. This is a good kite so far. I can't even lie. This is a good kite. The Seer Owl is here. Okay, beautiful. Extend the kite even longer. This can this can be a three cipher plus kite potentially. Oh, but blinks her first hit, and yeah, now she has presence. Yeah, this this just got harder. Yep, this just got a little harder now. I feel like you have to break this pal. Oh, slow vault curse, but it does not matter. Look at that little upset doll. What even is that? <laughs> Dang, disrespected the pallet 100%. My goodness. I love that we can see the persona down in the bottom right. Pretty standard stuff. A little faster pallet breaking and um, whatever the heck. The, is that Berserker at the top? I don't even know. I'm still learning the 100 persona web. White mentioned? Is that the White Seer? The White Seer skin? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. We got another Persona 5 skin out here. A catchy. Alrighty. Two ciphers are done. One at 60. That was probably the officer's cipher. Ooh, try to bait a try try to get a chair hit though, but she was too smart with it. And yep, she can see by the accessory that you can tell that that's Gardner. Yep. Alright, this is a pretty standard opera game so far. Use up the tides. Next up we're gonna see uh, Mike come in, waste the tide. Uh that's Cypher. Oh, she's heading to the Cypher, actually. This is good, this is good. What cipher is that? Ooh, that's the one at 83. That's unfortunate. Oh, we're teleporting back? Maybe a little bit too far, actually. No, he'll be able to finish that by the time she can share. Yeah, okay. Never mind, never mind. I thought she was going to pressure that Cypher, but no. She can she can share, and then they'll be able to finish that Cypher. Michael will come in and rescue. And... Yeah, that'll just be it. The last two Cyphers are already being worked on. Tide turn is going to be a thing. I feel like this is just a tie or a 3k. This is looking at a tie or 3k, depending on how this goes. She needs to get, a, she needs to get the hit on the Acrobat right here. And then... Wait, she should know by the speed he was moving. Oh, she can't dash, firebomb. He sh she should know if, if she noticed when he vaulted, if she had the speed and she sees his tie turn, that Acrobat might not have borrowed time. 
She should. She, there's a good chance she should know this now. Um, she hits Acrobat. Okay. So he's going to have no borrow time. But he does still have self heal. And we go around. We break the pallet. One Cypher left. So it's, it can't be a four person endgame because she gets the hit right here and death. Okay. She can 3k this. There's no way this is 4k. There's no way. They, they just did they just did the opera stuff too well. They're actually opting to open up a new... Okay. Oh, I guess that's in case she teleports, which she does indeed. Yep, here we go. It's Officer, though. If she can snipe him out, that would be crazy. No, she just leaves. She just leaves. Maybe a waste of a teleport, actually. Akira has no bar time. He's just chilling on the ground. Oh, she can see him now, though. She can see him. Yeah, okay, so Sierra was correct to start up a new Cypher. She does hit for Officer, and down he's going to go. After that five seconds of Tide from the watch, down he goes. Akro does indeed use up his self heal, and now she should know that because somebody is on a cipher, and there obviously is no other uh, other person. So, yeah, that, this 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 is looking like a three K. This is looking at three K. She goes all the way over. I feel like she just pressures the cipher now, right? Seer's gonna like transition all the way around to get the rescue, but now she can go for the cipher, and Mike's on the cipher. And the thing is, he has no self heal. So if she downs this acrobat, things are looking really bad for them. Unless they can, like, get the rescue super fast, which is not going to happen, and then also pop the Cypher in your triple pallet. I thought this couldn't be a... F I thought this wouldn't be a 4K, but now, now I'm not so sure. Okay, that was interesting. I guess she did that to reset her dash, maybe? I don't know if she messed up the dash there. Because otherwise, that looked like a pointless teleport. They do get the rescue. Acrobat goes down. And does she chair? She is not going to chair. She knows he has no self-heal. That is risky. Well, no, it's not because he has no borrowed time. So unless somebody helps him, that Mike is going to sit on the ground for the rest of the match. The only issue is this two Cyphers are pretty far along. Backflips for safety. Oh, she has Tinnitus now. Tinnitus? Tinnitus? No? Oh, she's chairing. That's bad. No, there's actually no reason for her to chair here, unfortunately. I, I, just don't, I don't think she knew that he has no borrowed time. It is the safer option, but maybe... She, I guess she just doesn't know. And now they finish triple pallet and then Seer can rescue. Yep. Okay, now now this is looking more like a 3k. Wow, that hit? Dang. Wait, what? Uh, that was risky. Down you go. You still have self-heal, though. And we're going to chair. Um, she can still... No, this is still 3k. This is still 3k. It still has to be 3k. You zoom to the other gate. You kill the seer, who has no owl. Mike can get the rescue. But... I feel like she can just teleport back. I don't know. What? Dude, she went in and out. Oh, she's coming back for safety. Okay. That, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yep, now she's going to go out again. Yep. So the backflip ability is what allows Opera to just be so safe here because she can go pressure and then come back. Yeah, worm, Wormhole Opera is about to go crazy, bro. I can't even lie. Wormhole Opera is about to go crazy. All right, now you're dead. And then you backflip back. Backflip back. Chairing first. She's accepting the tie. Wait, no. They didn't get the rescue. That's a 3K. I'm dumb. Wait, no way. He makes that out. Wait, but it's Acrobat on door. Wait. <gasps> it is a 4K because he couldn't make the rescue. I thought he could make that. Teleports back for safety? He's not even near the dungeon. No way. He has bombs. He has bombs. And he, he's going to try and make it to dungeon. Where is it, though? Where Where is dungeon? Is it near God Kite? Or is it... It is. It's all the way back in the corner. Oh, but she's getting... Yeah, she's checking everywhere, and she's going to catch up any second. Oh, teleports to the... Oh, okay. So she check... Oh, she's checking all the dungeon locations. She knows where the last dungeon location is. They're both going to... They're both going to book it there. Detention is not going to be a factor. Wait, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. This is actually going to be really close. Hold on. There's no flywheel. There's no flywheel. What are you doing? You know what... You're giving it to him. You're giving it to him. But... What? You just gave it to him. Hello? She was heading towards it. I thought she checked all the dungeon locations. 
Was she, was she scared that he was going for the door? But you checked all on that side of the map for tinnitus and you didn't get anything. I don't understand. I... Why would you teleport back there? I know she she messed up her dash, but she wouldn't have she wouldn't have teleported back. She would have made it there. I feel like I feel like Opera had that. That was weird. That was weird. I mean that that makes the uh that makes us that less in favor of um MY, but still that's really weird. She checked all around. The only place she didn't check was that last corner, and she she teleported back. Yeah, so the la that corner would be the last spot for the dungeon location. I get. Would you, did you, I guess she must have thought she was just going for the door. But at that point, you're not gonna make it in time, because you had. I don't know. I don't know. She didn't even like try to go for the dungeon. There's a dungeon in the middle too. Uh, there is no dungeon in the middle of Leo's. No, the, the dungeon in. There is, no, there's no dungeon in the middle of Leo's memory. The dungeon locations in Leo's memory are Triple Pallet, um, the corner near Factory, uh, the corner on the other side of Factory near God Kite, uh, the one by the Christmas tree, and then the one at um, near the shack. I guess if you're referring to the one in the middle, that's probably the one near the shack. But she passed by that. She was she was there from the start of that. And she know dungeon wasn't there. She just didn't check the last dungeon location for some reason. I felt like if she went there, she would have picked up tonight. And Amelia was like, "Okay, good, we're good here." But she didn't. She didn't go to that corner. She just completely avoided it, which was weird. I mean, she still got the win. She still got the win. She, like that. That still got the. T that still um puts puts My in the lead. But I still feel like that was just 4K. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Tide of first officer and acrobat to be She wants some variety. I, I get that. I get that. It's just these are the opera comps. And acrobat is an S tier hunter, so he's really good. Officer is a very safe hunter, so he's also very good. Um, I get it. I get it. I know you want to see some variety. I personally love watching acrobat. I get, I get the uh, I get the bottom on first officer though. I, he's not necessarily super crazy. He's a, he's a very safe character. Um, but n most rest of your characters are not very hype, honestly. Because they, they, they more focus on just, like, not taking chase and getting safer rescues, so. But most rescues are on the lower side of hype. Coordinator, despite being a rescue character, is pretty hype, though, because gun is funny. But, like, mercenary, officer, um, I guess mainly just those two. Journal journalist is okay. I think she's more hype than the other two, but... Because she can get the little body blocks. But yeah, it was an interesting. It was interesting to learn that Opera is slowed down in this area in Leo's memory. So I'm gonna 100% have to take advantage of that going forward, because uh, I did not know about that. And I I wonder if there's other. Pla I'm actually gonna test that out right now. I'm actually gonna test that out right now, like in the other two story areas when it comes to Opera. Because as somebody who doesn't know how to kite Opera, this this could be good. Um. I guess I should check out Big Boat too, huh? I mean, let me check out Big Boat first. I just want to check out all the two-story areas. I know there's probably a video about all this, but I want to do it kind of like firsthand so it's ingrained in my brain, you know? Hands-on hands on learning, I guess you could say. I think I saw you three days ago play Journals Against a Sea Badge Geisha. Do you think that they were good? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't remember. <laughs> I, I don't remember that. Or wait, no, hold on. A geisha was it on Lakeside? I think I I think I vaguely remember that because the geisha was like, I, I think the geisha recognized me or something. Um. Anyway, do I have cooldowns off? No. Let me turn that off. Okay. Near opera moment. Opera moment. So, that's different. This. Oh, it is the same. Yeah, with the with the outline, with the outline. So doing that, yeah. Okay, that's at least with the stairs, though. That's just with the stairs. But what about like stuff like right here? Does this count as the same when I go into it? It does not. Okay, so she can still do stuff like this, but it's like the stairs. This this is when it's a little less. I see. Okay, interesting, interesting. Gotcha. So I guess it has to do a lot with the stairs, then, huh? 
I see. Wait. But here it's fine. This character is so weird. <laughs> here it's fine, but not at the other stairs. You can go all you want with these. Oh, that's good. I guess it just depends on like what's connected. But then that, that just requires like insane map knowledge. Oh my gosh. Dude, I feel like there's even RNG when it comes to like if chairs are nearby. Cause like, you can dash to the chair too. And this chair isn't always here. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder, I wonder about small boat. Small boat's like much smaller obviously, but like I wonder if it matters. Hold on, wait. Okay, I do have cooldowns to turn on. I thought so. Opera just broken? She is broken. She is broken. Let's see here. Whee! Oh, I can't even... Okay, so there's... You can't even... Alright, so you can't... You can't even do it up here. Okay. Uh, I guess, it, yeah, since there's no walls, it wouldn't even count. I don't even know what I was thinking there then, huh? Okay. Um... But no, I guess it's mostly just like the stairways and stuff then, right? You would think? Dang, I'm starting to realize like literally every single little particle actually helps her out here, huh? Oh, she doesn't even make that, okay. So does this count as one big thing? I feel like it would because they're all connected, right? Let's see. Boop, and then boop. It doesn't. So why doesn't, oh, because the double windows, I see. Dude, this requires like insane like map logic to know these if you don't if you're not an opera player. So you can take advantage of these in very niche situations. Ha ha ha! That's what you sound like. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like I'm learning a lot about opera singer by doing this. Like if I if I knew like, like what little areas where she can't dash in like super fast, that could be really helpful. It do, it doesn't seem like there's many locations where it even matters, but like in the locations where it does matter, it it, it matters of course. Interesting. So I want to test out Chinatown now before we get onto the next set or next next round that is. Why did they make opera? I don't know. <laughs> they they wanted a strong hunter, I guess. They heard, they heard, oh, this is a, this is a survivor side of the game. And so they made opera and they're like, are you sure about that? <laughs> oh boy. I lost to some bots. Yeah, dude, the bots, they're crazy with it. Oh wait, no, they're, they're picking, they're picking. Hold on. Uh, well, I got to back out. <laughs> they're, they're picking matches. Never mind. Well, we'll take, we'll take a look after this match. We'll take a look. All right, um, let's see here. We're on Lakeside, okay. Lakeside Village, round two. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Get Cypher rushed by bots indeed. Random question, are the matches counted as rank matches? Can they get flare guns from chest? Uh, no, in, in tournament you cannot get, they are counted, they're, they're counted like rank matches. It's not like quick matches. You cannot get uh, for like a flare gun from a chest, unless you're a lucky guy. That's the only person who can get a flare gun from a chest. Everybody else though, no, no flare gun from chest. It, it works, it works, it applies with the same rank rules. So that also means we don't see maps like, um, like Dank Woods, Dark Woods, Golden Cave, Race Course, um, Asylum stuff like that like th those are not turn illegal. So obviously they ban opera They also on the survivor side they ban Annie and they're banning um Aeroplanist this makes sense. These are two very strong characters on lakeside first two characters that we pick here. We could see Melly maybe There's a chance there's a chance Who are we gonna see cannot pick patient cannot pick cord We could see a lawyer We could see Oh, all right. Two very safe picks. All right, then. Very safe. Embalmer Merc. Very safe picks. All right, next ban from the Hunter is going to be... No reason... Maybe Priestess? There's no reason to ban any more uh, Rescuers. They already have the Rescuers. Anti. Makes sense. Well, we see Priestess. We haven't seen that much Priestess. I can't even lie. Like, they're not even banning Priestess, but we're not seeing much of her. Maybe the top players just don't value Priestess as much. I guess Priestess maybe like falls apart at top level. I don't know. I still feel like she's good though. I don't know. Hmm. I'm hearing a lot of Bonbon. Prospector? Okay, now we got some hype. Now we got some hype. 
Who's the last person, person that they banned, though? Maybe. Hi. I was about to say, it's going to be Mike. Yep, it is Mike. All right. They don't want to see Mike gaming. Okay, so you could pick a decoder here, maybe? Or maybe a supporting character? Psychologist, maybe? Hmm. No, Seer. Okay, yep, supporting character, Seer. That makes sense. All right, then. Yeah, this 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 works. This works. Harasser, assist. Whatever Embalmer, do, Embalmer does things and rescue with Merc. <laughs> Interesting. Where is Alice? No, no, Alice, unfortunately. Until they global ban officer, like, and mercenary, and aeroplane is like, I don't think we're going to see journalists. I hate to say it. But thing is, um, Mercenary has been global banned for the next round. So if they ban Officer, then there's a very small chance we could uh, we could see some journalists. A very small chance, because Merc will be global banned. But it depends. It depends on how this round goes. Um, STR needs a, I guess a 3K to catch up if they if they get a draw with their serves. Uh, I, I was hearing them say bomb on a lot. Um, but they they need a they need a win to catch up. They need to play a hunter with win potential, not just somebody with ties. Unless they're really confident in their survivors. I feel like you don't play Bonbon bon here. You shouldn't play Bonbon. Bon. Why are you playing Bonbon bon here? Tie God Bonbon. Bon. Hmm. Unless Yanessa or Yanasa is a really good Bonbon bon player. Hmm. All right. It's Bonathan time, I guess. So guys. Will the Thai God get his Thai? That's the big question. Will the Thai God get his Thai? The Thai God Bonathan. Oh boy. I mean, I don't think that you do, because there's there's a there's an embalmer. There's an embalmer and a mercenary. I feel like I don't understand why you play Bonbon bon here. Because MY has the lead and you're going for a tie. But you need a hunter with win potential. Unless, like, this person mains Bonbon and is crazy. What do you mean, please be the duck Bonbon? That's the last thing I want to see. If it's the duck Bonbon or the weird bear Bonbon, I'm leaving the stream. Please at least be, like, Monokuma. Or, like, honestly, just Monokuma. <laughs> if it's the duck Bonbon, bro, I'm out. I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. Oh my gosh, everybody wants the stupid duck. Uh, I don't want to see the duck, bro. I don't want to see the duck. There's not. They don't pick the duck in comp. I've never seen the duck in comp. I think I've maybe seen the duck one time. They're not picking the duck. There's no way they're picking the duck. I will actually end the stream if it's the duck bonbon. I'm not even joking. Okay, I am. But like, could you imagine if I ended stream all because of duck bonbon? <laughs> oh, that, that would that would be that would be some that would be another a next level of pettiness. <laughs> oh boy. What did Duck Bonbon bon do to you? Literally everything. He did everything. He's extremely cursed. Is that an S tier, by the way? Is it Duck? It's the freaking bunny, bro. This one's so ugly. I'm sorry. The, dude, the Bonbon bon literally has, like, good skins or bad skins. The bunny, the bear, and the duck, I'm sorry. They're so ugly. They're all so ugly, in my opinion. I really don't like those skins. They just look so nasty. Like, the face, bro, is so nasty. Look at it! It's so ugly, bro. Like, he's got a funny little hat. I know he's supposed to be like, haha, Mad Hatter, White Rabbit, whatever, Alice in Wonderland kind of things. Like, that's the theme of it, right? It's funny, but it's just, the, the face is so ugly. Like, it looks like it wants to kill you, which I guess is kind of fitting, because that's what he does. Anyway, hold on. We got Seer with Flywheel Ninja Reflex. It's actually perfect, since he actually wants to take the kite here. Does hit the owl with the bomb. And uh, it got Borrow Time, Knee Jerk on Embalmer, Borrow Time, Flywheel on uh, Nort, and then um, obviously Merc with Borrow Time Tide, of course, because you literally run nothing else but that. This is interesting, though. They have the Seer on Kite build specifically to take the Kite. Flywheel is to avoid, takes a basic hit. That's kind of what you want to do. It's kind of what you want to do against the uh, against the Bonathan here. 
And he actually, wait, he doesn't have blink, he has teleport. Teleport can find, well, confined space makes sense on this map. I guess that's why, because he wasn't, he can't have trunk card because he wants to have the confined space so he can't get looped. That's a, this is a interesting, like, interestingly aggressive bonbon setup, but I think, it, I think it's more just because he wanted, um, confined. Hmm. No bomb chains. Control bomb is up. And basic hit. Okay, forced a basic hit. That's fine. So ugly, bro. I'm sorry. So ugly. Oh, wait. Hold on. Norton is here. Control bomb. Control bomb. Control bomb. Oh, he can't make that. Nope. He can't make that. Wait. No. I heard it. I heard I heard the connection. I heard it. But he was just too far. All right. So let's see here. Three ciphers are basically done. One's at 90. Oh, okay. There we go. I was about to say, did they leave one at 90? That's three ciphers done, though. That's really good. And now he's actually opting to chase Norton. Uh, Mercenary is going to... Okay. Oh, he's going back. He's going back. Okay, he's playing it safe. Probably just wanted to see if he could push for some extra chips here. That, that's, see it. Look at it. It's so ugly. The face is so ugly, bro. I'm sorry. He's so ugly. That bomb on face... That, that rabbit face is so ugly, bro. It's nightmare fuel. It's so ugly. It's after... Wait. Are they just not... Re he's not even camping and they're not even... Res they're selling. They're actually just selling. But I think they're fine with it because, again, if they get a draw, they're still in the lead. The Cyphers are slightly behind. Uh, yeah, so they're just selling. Wait, no, but the thing is they still have Embalmer, so they can 3 escape this. But even then, if they get a draw, they're still in the lead, so like... Okay, good stun. You we were forced to take a chip, but it was a good stun. Bonbon has plenty of bombs to work with. He does have confined space for that window if he needs to, so he can't loop the shack. We might see... Yep, he's gonna he's gonna run out the window. Does? Oh, good bomb chain, though. Good bomb chain. But now confined is set up. Does he know? He does know. He does know. He's not heading towards it at all. Gets the stun. Nice. Not quite a full prez. I think he's dead here. Ooh, good control bomb. That was beautiful, actually. The last time, that's the first and last time you'll ever hear me come with bomb bomb. By the way, <laughs> that was, I can't even lie though. That was a good control bomb. So guys, will the tie god get his tie? That's the question of the century. Oh, dude, stop! I can't look at his face. It was so ugly. Lawyer bunny peak. I know, I'm not the biggest fan of the freaking bunny skins. But, like lawyers is at least like, at least he, like at least like he doesn't have like a nightmare fuel face. Like this is genuine nightmare fuel. Oh, he chipped the mercenary. Hold on, wait. Oh, he's zooming. He's zooming. The last cipher is climbing. Mercenary. Oh my gosh, he's getting. He got chipped out of his elbow pad. No way. No way. He chipped the mercenary fully. Wait, wait, wait. Flywheel. But he got the. He he. He hit, he hit mercenary. He hit mercenary. Okay. Okay, but he's on Norton because he's dead. But he's got a magnet. Guys. Is this a tie? None of the doors have been opened yet. What? He does have teleport. Wait. That was a good play. That was a really good play. He minimized the stun by going behind that. Good control. Dude, I can't even lie. This bomb bomb this bomb bomb's actually like kinda. Uh wait. Why is Mercenary dead? My wait, because he hit Mercenary. I'm stupid. And why'd he die right here? Wait! It's not a tie? I'm dumb. The tie god got more than a tie. No way. The 3k for the tie god bonbon? Okay, but real talk, why did they sell the seer? He had full kite build. I don't understand why you sell the seer there. Like... I know Bonbon was like in a good position, but why did they sell? I, I felt like they just maybe got too confident. Like, I thought that was going to be a tie, but um... Yeah, I guess not. That's a that's a 3k. So now that's that's all tied up then. That That's all tied up. Yeah. Well, for now. 
for now, for now. Because MY got a 3K last time, and then STR got a 2K last time. But this time they got a 3K, so um, they're going to need a 3K to continue their lead or a 2K to tie the set. So, yeah, let me end this here. You have a question? What's up, Genshin fandom? <laughs> I can't even hold on. I wanna, I wanna. Those, those control bombs were really good though. He had two really good control bombs. For those who don't know, the control bomb is something that a bomb bomb can detonate whenever he wants. It's, a, it's an ability he gets a, uh, at, 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 at first presence. Where was it though? I think it was after the first chase, right? Where was it? I think it was on the prospector. Where was it? Oh, it was right here. He got a bomb chain and then control bombed. Boom. That that was just good. I can't even lie. That was just good. Cause like the thing is, if he if he walked back towards to pop the cipher or not pop the cipher, if he walked back towards to get the pass time, he was dead. Like there, I don't think there was any way he could have avoided that. And then he got like another one around here. This was all just regular bombs. No, that was control bomb. He threw control bomb down right here. Dude, the control bombs were actually crazy. He threw the control bomb. As you can see, it's it's on cooldown. It's on cooldown right here at 35. He used the control bomb to cancel the elbow pad. That was good. You have a question? Why is everybody saying they have questions? Sorry, I'm trying to I'm just trying to review the match to see like what was good. Like, I don't like Bon Bon, but I'm not gonna say he played bad or anything. This was really good. The stun was actually bad. I think the stun actually uh, hurt more than or hurt more than it helped. Yeah, so Mercenary died and then went to small boat and then Norton kited towards small boat. So then they just lost. I thought Mercenary would have died toward the gate or something. And then right here, minimizing the stun. Okay, right here. The thing is, you see, this was beautiful. He knew, right? Because Norton wanted to stun on this box. He would have dragged, been dragged all the way over there, but he minimized the stun by going to this fence. And then getting stunned by like for like no time at all. He would have been stunned for like, like Norton would have been able to get to this window before Bomba would have been able to like start moving again. That was just really good. That was just really good. And then was this control bot? No. So oh, that dude. I'm sorry. I can't even lie. This is just actually really good. So two one. He, oh, and he has one place to go. He takes the hit as he vaults just barely. It pops right here. Boom. Takes the damage. He throws the bomb down. And then since he has, he's, he's landing, right? Because when you land, you have a bit of lag, right? He throws it down and then boom, control bomb. Like those those four, those, those three control bombs and then him minim minimizing the stun, those are all like insanely good plays. Like again, I meme on bomb bomb all the time, but I can't even lie. That was, that was just good. That was just good. Anyway. So now pe people, people were, uh, people were, all right, what are these questions? What? Hold on. People are now everybody just spamming. I have a question, so I don't even know what the genuine question was. I think somebody had a genuine question, and now everybody is just filled with. I have a question. I have a question. Uh, his control bomb was on point. Yeah. I'm so confused. Do you guys actually have a question or not? I'm confused. If we're still talking about the geisha thingsies. It was on lakeside. I think you were kiting near the gate with three pallets. Yeah, yeah. That was the one. Yeah, I think I think I no, I think I remember that match because I think I died to blink or something. Yeah, I, I think I was first chased and I was doing fine and then I got blinked and then I died. Um, yeah, this one. This match. Yeah, I was doing an okay kite and then I think I got blinked and then I just lost. But I got chaired on a really good chair, so it makes sense that I just died. Cats or dogs? I don't really have a preference. I like both. Pe people always choose. I don't, I don't think I've ever really had a preference, honestly. I think if you would have asked me, like, uh, 10 years ago, I probably would have said dogs. But, maybe not 10 years, maybe like 5 years ago. I don't really have a preference, honestly. Can we see the cat? Uh, she's... I don't know. Actually, I don't know where she is. Oh no, they're using the copyrighted music again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anyway, for this, we have... Global ban, Gardner Seer. Um, please ban Opera. 
when, when it's time for her. Please went opera. Um, kitty, kitty. Yeah, my, my cat's probably, she's probably just sleeping. Honestly, she's probably just sitting outside sleeping on a pillow or something. There's like a little desk that we have in the living room. And there's a pillow under it. She loves sleeping under the pillow. Uh, anti-ban again. Wow, only like so many anti-bans did I swear. All right, so we're most likely going to see an officer in this match because of mercenary. They're going to ban opera singer, hopefully. We could actually see a hermit here. We, we could actually see a hermit. Uh, no and ban yet, so we could see Toy Merchant. We actually might see Toy Merchant here as a global ban because, like, she's so good on Lakeside. I, I generally think we see Toy Merchant here. If they really want to make use of, like, Lakeside and somebody has a good Toy Merchant, they just pick Toy Merchant. Some, somebody picks Toy Merchant here. Nope. Mike and Embalmer. Lots of Embalmer being played. Lots of Embalmer. Are we going to see Toy Merchant? Priestess? Aeroplane is banned. Okay. Merchant? And the... Maybe? <laughs> hmm. <gasps> Melly! I'll take that! Oh my gosh, I will take that. Yes, please. Melly Gaming. Wait, but that means she's gonna die to a hermit. Oh. They banned for it, so... Merchant? Priestess? Officer. Oh, I said officer, bro. I don't know why... I don't know why... I I don't know why I thought it was going to be anybody else but officer. I literally said there was going to be an officer on the team. Okay. All right. We got, we, got a, we got a good team here. We got a solid team here. We got Melly as the kiter. Mike as a kiter. Uh, embalmer doing his embalming thing. And then rescuer officer. The hunter, though. Who's the hunter? Hmm. My, it, we, we know Yuri plays Hermit. Hmm. Wait, will they play anybody else? Hermit can, Hermit can be good on this map. Hi. <sighs> I just don't know if you will, though. Do you play Hermit here? I feel like there's a really weird niche versus, with Melly versus Hermit where he can hit, see you behind the walls because of her debuff, and it's probably easier to get the stuns from behind walls. Because the stuns actually have some decent range to them. Mm, who do you play here? Uh, so they need... They need a tie to tie the set right now. So as long as they're as long as they're okay with like getting a tie and relying on their survivors to like, you know, pull through in the later rounds, that that could that could be what they're thinking right now. So it, it, literally if they get a tie, the, the set is tied. A geisha? It's a geisha. It's not it's not hermit, it's geisha. Okay then, hold on. We know that geisha can cook on this map. We know she can. Who does she chase first? Whoa, okay. Hello. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We, we did already have a fool's gold. That's right. We did have a fool's gold. Let me, let me get the pull up. <laughs> Alright, Team Michi. Who are, what, what, what team are you on? Are you on Team Michi or Team Melly, everybody? I need to know. I know what team I'm on. Sorry. Every every time I see a Melly, I gotta root for the Melly. But I want to know how everybody else feels. Melly could take first chase here. Melly, Melly could take first chase. I am not on Team Geisha, sorry to say. I'm on Team Melly. Anytime there's a Melly, I'm always on Team Melly. <laughs> you can call me Liz? Okay, I'll try to remember that. Thank you. I won't hold it against you. Don't worry. Everybody's got their favorites. It's okay. I want people to root for their favorites. I don't. I don't want people to just join me on Team Melly because then that's just, then that's just like echo chamber or whatever. Like I like Melly, but I like it when other people root for their favorite characters too. But when it comes when it comes to this uh this match, I do kind of want to see Ento take the first kite. Alrighty, it's time. We are gonna see. Dude, they always run the Coney Melly skin. What's up with this, dude? All right, Melly's got knee jerk, which probably isn't. Uh, I guess it's fine. She does have the dew accessory. I love to see it. Um, good camera work from Geisha already. Ooh, that's a good butterfly. That's a good butterfly pa uh, placement. Wow. Um, she can kind of loop this for now. She has the same butterfly. She can dash. Oh, not quite. Shneum. Drop pallet. Nope. Gonna go back through. All right. Butterfly in two. One. Dash is ready. Drop bees. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Hold on. Getting around the bees with the with the butterfly. Yeah, nice. Good, good, good work. This is a good kite so far. This is a good kite so far. It's, got, it's really dangerous with both of these. Oh. 
does take a hit there. Does take a hit. Yeah. Yeah, she couldn't get behind the pallet because that butterfly was still there. I feel like if she, I feel like if she could have grabbed the butterfly, maybe cancel the dash. I don't know. Blink is up. I was about to say you just blink right here. That's a pretty fast down. That's a sixty second down exactly. Dang. Well, unfortunately for Melly, that was a, a pretty standard kite, all things considered. She forced out Blink, and the Cyphers are climbing, but that, that's pretty standard stuff. We do see um, full kite build on the Embalmer, tied on both Mike and uh, First Officer, and then, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so yeah, Embalmer with the only one with Flywheel. Hmm. Beautiful butterfly. It's, yeah, the 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 insect uh, the insect ladies are fighting each other. Oh, gets a hit on the officer. Dang, that was really good. It's it's butterflies versus bees right now, dude. It's literally what we're witnessing. Oh well, with that we see. Okay. Oh, good, good bait, Melly. Good bait. But ooh, wait. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. Geisha dashed into the swarm. That was good. Melly is running low on bees though. Oh. All right, down goes bees. Okay, come on, Melly. Come on, nice, nice, good, good. She's playing on this area. Right, wait, did she just vault into? Oh my gosh, I thought she vaulted into her. Oh my goodness. All right, <laughs> just walking through these windows. Wait, she can teleport over there, dude. I just realized you could do that. Oh my gosh. All right, dashes up. Shneerum. She's dead. Yeah, I, I know she's dead there. I I know what she's trying to do, but it's over. I I think I think now they just they just tied rescue and let Melly die. I hate to say it. Um, yeah, Embalmer's already coming in. As I think what Embalmer has to do here is, jeez, Embalmer has to wait, rescue at the last second, tied, and then body block. Melly will most likely go down for end game. Okay, yeah, just play, play it out, play it out, just, just stall, just stall. You don't have to rescue right away. Firebomb. That was firebomb, huh? Oh, we're doing the geisha strats. Okay. Please don't stuff the. Oh no, no, no! You got hit by the day one geisha trick, bro, Mike. Mike. Mike, you got hit by the literal, like, freaking saber tooth geisha trick. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That's a game changer. Well, maybe not a game changer, but man, now I have to watch Melly. I can't even watch Melly going to the end game. He had tied, bro! And she teleports to the cypher. I mean, this is probably still a tie, but even then. She's going. Hello? Nope, going still going for officer. Officer is injured, and he's actually not going to have tide on his on the third thingy of his watch. So, yep, she can see him. She missed the hypnosis, and he has no tide. I believe you only get tied from the first two. Good dash cancel. Good dash cancel. But I'm pretty sure you only get tied from the first two turnings uh, tunings of the watch. First officer can use his watch three times, whereas any other server can use it. Um, oh, there's the dash. Down he goes. But nobody's on the cipher. She can just chair on the cipher now. Yep. Oh, there is no chair on Shaq, though. Oh, no, there is. Okay, there is. I'm sorry. It just wasn't showing up as red. Uh, okay, so they rescue and pop? It's 86? Uh, yeah, Mike's working on a whole new cipher, but... I don't know. Okay, okay. He gets the free rescue here because the vault. No, not quite. Not quite. Geisha's hitbox. <laughs> Can't body block that. Okay. No tide. Yeah, all, Mike still has tide. If he gets a redemption endgame tide, I'll, I'll I'll let him pass. The terror shock too. Wow. Um, so you just you do a chair here or? Yeah, you're gonna chair here. Okay. Um, there's a chance for oh basement too. There's a there's three K potential now. I, I do think I, I think it is because of that acrobat missing the, the rescue that really was game changing the basement rescue makes things harder and she knows where oh my gosh she knows where the embalmer was too well hold on the 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 last the last little bit that can secure the tie is potentially the coffin it depends on the coffin honestly they just pop they just pop but embalmer has no borrowed time and the coffin uh, the, the dungeon is here so he uses coffin right uh, yep. Oh my gosh, is she 4K'ing this? 
All because the acrobat missed? Bro, don't tell me. Don't tell me. There's no way. Is she really about to 4K this all because? All because he missed the rescue. Oh no, she is chairing. But she knows where Dungeon is now, and she knows exactly where the bomber wants to go. He has he has full kite build. There's no way he kites this out at a, against a full presence geisha. Wait, no, he died. He was dead on chair. Never mind. I didn't know he was dead on chair. I thought he was only chaired once. Oh, because when they went to go rescue him after he died, they didn't get it until after half. That's why. So wait. But at that, then why? Then why would you chair there? For safety? Because Acrobat could self heal, but Acrobat gate opening kind of bad though. Well, they got 3k, so uh, they extended their lead. They still have a slight lead, but I do believe we are going to round three. Cherry Mike is a throw to. I, I just don't know. Well, I mean, the thing is, maybe she wasn't confident, and the thing is, all she needed was a 3k to keep the lead. They still have the lead. She she still has the lead. I think she just didn't. She was worried that um, if she couldn't find Embalmer, um, then Mike would have got back up and opened up the gate. But I think with Mike's like slow opening gate speed, I think it was probably worth the risk. But I get why because by by chairing Mike, she gave herself the advantage already. So like, why why risk for more if you can already give yourself an advantage? Like, yeah, you can give yourself uh, a ton of advantage, but like, would you rather have a low risk, um, good reward or a high risk for, um, you know, max rewards? I feel like taking the low risk uh, play there is smart because again, you do push the lead. But yeah, dude, that 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 uh that rescue, bro, that was game changing. Cause like, let, let's see here, what were the ciphers at right here? So he firebombs here for that was a firebomb, right? That was a so why firebomb here? There's no reason to firebomb here. I feel like, like yeah, you're, if you're stalling out a hit, why waste your firebomb? Like she's not gonna dash to you. I don't know. I feel like you save your firebomb for later. I guess he just got another one, so it's fine. And then he literally gets hit by like the saber tooth geisha trick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, and he didn't have flower or anything, so yeah. So the cipher ciphers were at 85 and 58, and they're both on ciphers, right? They're both on the ciphers. So in a scenario like this, if Mike got the rescue, there's 20 seconds, right? And 20 seconds that the the four cipher would have been popped. The last cipher would have been at like, um, it would have been at like between 80 and 90. Maybe between 90 and 100 by the time Tide Turner runs out, right? With Excel, I don't think Excel decoding was active at this time because they kind of cipher rushed her. But um, yeah, at a point like this, I it was it should have been it should have been at least a tie because again she she does kill Melly in Endgame. Like if if they, if, if Acrobat body blocks with Tide, um. That, then what you do here is you secure Melly making it to endgame. So you have a four-person endgame. So she'd have to kill Melly and then teleport to somewhere. So she could have still got out of tie. But, like, it was most likely at this state, or, like, at this state, if Acrobat gets a successful rescue, it's a tie. Like, for, at best for her, right? At best. But then, Sabretooth moment. And, um, yeah. Almost a 4K from that one mistake. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. I can't. I can't even lie. He panicked. I don't. I don't know why. I feel like, cause like, yeah, that geisha trick is good. But I, I, in my in my opinion, maybe it's just me having like really high expectations for pro players. But I feel like if you're a pro, you like never get hit by that, right? Like you just you just don't get hit by something like that. Cause like even even me in the Griffin tiers knows to like 100% at least avoid that geisha trick. Like if you're gonna rescue. And you take a hit or whatever. You do like a, like a mediocre rescue. Sure, that's fine. But if you get hit by that geisha trick, you're at least gonna like die, right? So you at least want to avoid that geisha trick, like at all costs. And the thing is, like, hold on, how much how much time was even left? So he had he had a little more time here. He had a little more time. Melly Melly was Melly didn't Melly was not going to die for like let's see one, two, three. Four, five, six. That was like almost seven seconds she was still alive. So he he did not need to rush that. He had time. 
he had time. So, yeah. I don't know. He he had he had time to avoid that drop down hit. He did not need to like rush it. I can see why if if she was like barely about to barely about to blast off, I can see maybe rushing in then, but she she had a little extra time. There was some time. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. For me at least because I love Melly, but you know, it is what it is. She could have made it to end game, but freaking Mike gaming. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, the poll ended around 50 50 with Melly having a slight loss, unfortunately. Oh, good night, Yuri. And, and no worries, you're probably not going to miss too much because we're, we're probably only going to see the uh, the ending uh, ending segments of this of the uh, the set here. Uh, unfortunately, we're not seeing any more novelists at all. We had a lot. We had two novelist games at the start, and then that was it. No, no more Orf. No more Orf. What was I going to do? I feel like there's something else that I was going to do. Oh, I was I was going to do that freaking opera thing. That's right. Um, okay, let me see if I can do it in time. I wanted to see if I could dash on Chinatown. That's right. Have we seen a Chinatown game yet? Am I stupid? I don't think we have yet. I feel like I'm a bot. I'm just forgetting. All right, let's see here. Sorry, now it's more it's more opera learning time right now. It's 11 a.m. for you, 3 a.m. for you. It's it's 5 a.m. for me right now. What's your question, Antiquarian? I, I, unless you're memeing, I don't know. As people have been asking, it's like, what? I have a question, I have a question, but I don't know if it's like a genuine question. Which makes things confusing, because then when I keep hearing people say, I have a question, the original person asking the question, I can't even like, uh, <laughs> can't even answer their question. Right, let's see here. So when it comes to connected, um, Wait, do I have do I have cooldown? Oh, hold on. let me do this first. See, I have to turn this off first to actually see. It, it should, so that goes into cooldown. Okay, and so it's you. I guess it's the stairs then. Interesting. So you dash to it, but it still counts. So you can't even like merge into it, which is funny. That that is odd. So you definitely have to like swing for something like this. So yeah, opera just becomes slower when you go into certain two-story areas then, because she just has nowhere to dash. The whole point is she needs these dash. Uh, uh, right here, it looks like. Oh. Wait. Oh, she can't even do that. That's the, sa that's the same shadow. Oh, so she'd have to dash to this one. So th these two kind of separate, though. And that's that's the same one. Okay, wow. Dude, there's so many niche little things, dude. It's crazy. So this little segment here is separate. But this whole thing counts. Dude, that's that's kind of crazy. And then the stairs obviously count as well. Interesting. Dude, I feel like I'm learning so many like little niche opera things right here, which could actually come into play like in in actual matches. This is good. This is good. I hope somebody else can like use these tips as well cuz I didn't I didn't even know about these things. I really didn't. Let's see here. So it's probably the same here. Oh, I just messed up my dash. <laughs> Hold on, I can reset it by doing this. Yeah, woo! Boop. And then... Yep, it counts here too. Or wait. Oh, no, never, never mind. Okay, so here it does it, right? Right at the start of the stairs it does, but not here. When she's up here, it doesn't count. Okay. So yeah, you can, you can start doing your little zigzags here. Interesting. Oh, but this, yeah, this right here she can't. Yeah, so this this all counts as one thing. This is weird, dude. This is freaking weird. I, I feel like I'm learning a lot here. So I can go here. When I go to this, I mess up the dash, but th this would have been unavailable as well. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. When are we seeing Z's S1 song, Rhea? Uh, well, I have never played her in a real match, so <laughs> let's just uh, let's hold let's hold off on that for now. Um, let's see. What about Ever Sleeping Town, though? Uh, we, we have the time. We might as well, like, look it up. Uh, th this is just good. Like, this is just good knowledge. Leo's we checked. Red Church is no two stories. Moonlit. Oh, Moonlit I could check, yeah. There's a two story in Moonlit. This <laughs> leap is for the weak. Sleep is for the strong. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'm good on sleep. My, my sleep schedule has changed to, like, match Koa. Oh, never mind. I can't do this yet. 
because it's time for round three. Oh, baby. Here we go. Oh, Auntie asked her question. Let me see here. Uh, you've been asking for an hour. Sorry. Can you friend me if there is no antiquarian games? Because I'll be sad. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I suppose I could. I suppose I could. Anyway, they banned priestess and antiquarian. So, um, yeah. Do that. The thing is, okay. Now, now, now this is where things get interesting. They ban clown. No, don't ban clown, man. I want to see a clown. So do they go officer and just pray that they end the mat or end the end the thing here? MY does have the advantage. No, they're they're going to go with seer forward. Okay. For, forward as the as the makeshift rescuer then. Hmm. Cuz I feel like you just ban officer here, right? So you don't give them like the super safe no dancer. But now you give them access to officer. They're just going to pick officer. Like this is officer pick every time. Right? No, Charles. Okay. So you can you can run tied on both forward and Charles. No officer then? Hmm. Banning Enchantress. Wow. What? Weird. So this is officer then. Well, no, it can't be. They have, we have two. We have two rescues. Oh, toy merchant. Okay then. Uh, I get. Yeah, I guess forward can use her items. Charles can once he runs out of jetpack. Seer cannot. Hmm. Hmm. Leo, bro. I don't. I don't think we're gonna see Leo. I would love a Leo, but we saw one Leo in in Koa, and he got a one K. <laughs> he almost got a tie. Almost. He was literally like three seconds away from a tie. Poor guy. Anyway, we do we do got some, we do got some Anne. She's here now. She's here. I mean, she is gonna smack because she can set up the catapults and the uh, to get into the hotel area. And I think that's honestly the main one. But you know, she can provide some good support. So we got harasser with forward. Charles, that is like usually a rescuer, but can also contain. Um, Anne who can support, and then Seer who can support. So. Yeah, not a not a bad team comp. Everybody here can cipher rush for, except for forward. Not bad. Who's the hunter though? As long as it's not a wax, I'm fine. Ooh, night watch. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. It's not a it's not a freaking wax, bro. It's not a wax. Alrighty. Is it time? He, he is kind of seen as the Thai king now, though. So can, can he secure a tie? The thing is, STR, they need they need a win here. They need a win. And Nightwatch, Nightwatch can get a win here. He can get a win, but most likely they're gonna play it super safe. This is a very safe comp. The thing is, if you run Tied on forward and Aeroplanus, and then you have like Seer or Ann take the kite, it's so safe. You can honestly run three Tide turns if you really wanted to. Uh, they're, they're, I think like they just play for like a tie here, but Nightwatch can't does have win potential. Yeah, see, yep, they they chase Seer or Anne, and then Charles and Forward have tied. Yep, that no, this is a tie. I think that I think the set just ends here. They get a tie, they play one more match, and then that's just it. Unless they like, unless unless um STR survivors do really badly, um I feel like this is this this could be the game or the set right here. I feel like this is a very safe set of survivors. So unless unless uh. This Night Watch can cook. This, this is probably the end of the set here. We haven't had many overtimes. I can't even lie. We have not had many overtimes. But I think I think at minimum here he needs a 3k to like to stay to stay in the game. If he gets a 1k, it's just over. I'm pretty sure it's just over. I don't think there's any way to come back if he gets a 1k. If he gets a tie, like the only way for them to come back is if the survivors get like a four escape or something in the next in the next game. For them to tie. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see. We'll see what uh, old Ithaca can cook up here. Mm. Let's see. If I if I am the Night Watch, who do I chase first? I feel like I chase the Toy Merchant because I yeah I feel like I just chase the Toy Merchant. I, if I chase the Seer and I fail, he gets another owl. If I chase the Toy Merchant, she literally like catapults and then I just kill. Because like she, at least she's not setting up support, right? And if I have insolence, which she might have insolence here, 
Nope, no insolence. Okay. No insolence. Uh, if I had insolence, I could just fast wind. So, yeah, we, we do see Ta. Oh. Oh, see? Oh, he's going after. No, he's going after the Seer with the full kite build, bro. Seer with full kite build. Um, Toy Merchant with Borrowed Time Knee Jerk. Forward and Aeroplanist with Borrowed Time Tide. This is a tie. From from the comps, the, from from the builds alone, this is a tie. Because he, he can just trade swap teleport to the end. Um. The, the, yeah, the, the support from the Toy Merchant is already set up here. Oh, boy. You're chasing a full kite. Wait! Oh, my gosh! Yo, Seer was almost a almost a bot there. He just dropped pallet? He can drop... Yeah, you can't make that. I know you can't make that in time. That is slow pallet breaking. Okay, he does not have any boost to his pallet breaking speed. No way, it's ready. No way. No way. What's the cooldown of a catapult? Is it 20 seconds? That did not feel like 20 seconds. Please get dropped down, please. He flywheel. Okay, you get a flywheel at least. You get a flywheel. Owl. Okay, okay. <sighs> this is looking bad. He has no presence, bro. Nightwatch, come on. He should get a hit here. He should get a hit here. This is a hit. Boom, there's a hit. Okay. He has blink. He has blink. We're going around this way for some reason. Oh, he doesn't want to deal with the pallet. Dang, he walked around just so he wouldn't have to break that pallet. Does he blink here? Blink drop down? Oh! Hit him! Yes, yes, yes! Good work! Don't let him get in that catapult. Beautiful work. Okay, that's not that bad. That's not bad. That's not... I guess a full... I guess a seer with a full kite build, that's not bad. Break that catapult. Or suck first. Break that catapult. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. That was good. That was good. That was good. Okay. This, this is kind of serious. Break that pallet. Good, good. So now hotel is hotel hotel is palace. The hotel is palace. Well, Charles is coming. Oh my gosh! Just hit him. Beautiful. Okay. And now tide is a thing. Oh, I think he was thinking about going for a double down there. Uh, yeah, but in hotels it's just not worth. And now she is going to die in a better area. Yep. Because he has no resources in this area. It's still looking like it's high though. And still, unless there's a crazy. Mm. That's honestly fine. Like, there's, that's literally fine. Yeah, that's honestly fine. There's no, there's like, oh boy, you bought an extra second. <laughs> Opting the chair back in hotel? Oh, right here. No? Oh, back in hotel? Okay. I guess it's because there's, there's less resources here. Yeah. Um, goes for the suck. One hit away from full prez. Sees the trail. And they're just going to get the rest. He jumps through. Okay. Oh. Oh, it just breaks the... Okay. Even better. Break the window. This is forward, though. He does have Tide. He rushes to the chair. And... Get a Terror Shock, bro. No. Oh, man. man see, why, why, why... Oh, double down, double down, double down. It's not going to matter, though, I don't think. I don't think it's going to matter. He's using the ball to stun him. Oh, it didn't matter though. He missed. He need he needs to get the seer down right here, and then go back and share the forward. The seer have owl though. He needs to get him down right here. He needs to. Just jump. Nice. Okay. Good. No owl flywheel. The owl man just barely. No, it's so over. It's a tie. It's a tie. Gosh dang it. No, it could be more. No, surely not. Bro, the owl. He still has fly. They just pop. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me it's... You have to chair him and teleport. You have to ch chair, teleport, and pray. Dude, I don't know, man. He has to tie to stand any chance. Please, you not to teleport now. Teleport now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, they get the gate open. He swings. But Toy Merchant, no, the catapult. You can tie this. You can tie this. You can tie this. You can tie this. He's chasing. He's chasing the toy merchant. She has nothing. She has no more catapults. She has nothing. This is a tie. This is a tie. No, come on. You don't lose this. You don't lose this. If you keep her here, you just keep stalling. Out, get a ton of. There's no way. They don't have the items. Boom. Okay. Tie. 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 No tied. Perfect. All right. You didn't get your 3k, but you got your tie, which which keeps you barely in the game. You're barely in the game right now. You are one. You are still one point behind. If you got a 3k there, the set would have been tied. 
<sighs> Ty King Nightwatch, bro. Ty King Nightwatch. The Seer getting... Hold on. I need to see that. I need to see that. When did he get that out? I'm pretty sure I saw him have... He must have, like, just barely got ready. Let me see here. Where was it? Okay, this is when... This is when... You see, this was good. This was good. Getting, getting rid of that wall. That was good. Um... I was kind of hoping he would get the Terror Shock. If he got the Terror Shock, that would have been game-changing. So he hits the forward, which makes sense. Um, and then forward actually tries to stun him, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, so he has no Owl right here. So when did he get the Owl? That's the question. Like He, he must have barely got the Owl. He had Flywheel, too, and he, he used the Owl instead of it. So no Owl, no Owl, no Owl. Still no Owl. Still no Owl. Bro! He charged it just barely. I think that was like probably like... Ugh, I, I just... I think he should have chased the Toy Merchant instead. Because like the thing is you don't have to deal with this kind of stuff. Full kite builds here. He barely got that Owl, bro. Literally it was like at the perfect time he got the Owl. My goodness. And then they just kind of popped on him. And he still had Flywheel. I mean, I'm glad he got the tie from that, but still, that was, that was rough. Poor Nightwatch, bro. He really has just fallen off. He really is just the tie king now. He really is just the tie king. And the thing is, like, at a point like this, like, it's way too, it's way too risky to go for teleport here. Like, he could have trade swap teleported here and, like, got, you know, where, where the toy merchant was. But again, the same thing would have happened. If he teleported, she would have just taken the catapult, because since she had a catapult set up at the exit gate. Um... And that he, it, by leaving Seer here, that's way too risky because Far was nearby. He could have come over, heal the Seer, and then just get out the gate. Or he can even just like self heal while working on the exit gate, and then just leave that way as well. Uh Ty King Nightwatch, bro. Ty King, Ty King Nightwatch. What the? <laughs> what did I miss in chat? What? <laughs> what did I miss in chat? Mm. Chat being Orpheus. <laughs> Let anti the matches. We, ha we haven't seen any anti yet, unfortunately. Mm. Ithaca is an honorary girly. I see. A bit sussy? I don't know about a bit sussy, but more of just like a headcanon kind of thing. I don't. I, I, sadly, I don't think they'd ever uh, like... I don't know, because I feel like with a with a Chinese company, I don't know if they'd ever allow like any trans rep, which is unfortunate. But that's what that's what the headcanons and fan fictions are for, I suppose. <laughs> you hate going against Nightwatch? No, Nightwatch is fun. He's fun. Nah, I love Nightwatch. I love playing Nightwatch. I love watching Nightwatch. And he's fun to fight too. Do I support fan fiction? I mean, I guess. I'm not against it. Fan fiction can be cringe, but fan fiction is like an, ex an expression of creativity. I don't think. Why would I ever not support any expression of creativity? Fan fiction stream when. Bro, literally Orpheus is a fan fiction writer. Come on now. He literally writes fan fictions of the people he meets and puts them into his Call of the Abyss stories. We're literally watching Orpheus's fan fiction right now. This is literally just Orpheus's fan fiction. That's literally what Call of the Abyss is. He's like, hmm, all these all these people I've met, all these people I've heard about. Let me shove them into my fanfic. Oh boy. <laughs> oh gosh, dude. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, you're right, Zoe. They don't have plushies on the table anymore. Where are the Wu Chang orbs? What happened to them? Yo, bring back the Wu orbs. I want my Wu orbs back. No, I miss my Wu orbs. And I miss that weird dog thing, that weird fox thing or whatever. But more, more so the Wu orbs. Oh, uh, they changed the UI and they changed the freaking Wu orbs. So I'm Orpheus's fan fiction. Yep. Yep. Since or since Orpheus is the writer of Call of the Abyss, this this uh, where is it? It's lagging. This antiquarian skin 
It's literally just Orpheus's fan fiction. <laughs> oh boy. So goofy, dude. All right, here we go. Here we go. Round three, second half. Could be the end of the set. Let's see what we got. It's Yuri up again. We could see Hermit. Hermit on Chinatown? Is Hermit good on Chinatown? I guess there's a lot of open areas. Maybe. First two bands, probably probably Priestess Anti again. Most likely Priestess Anti. Yup, yup, right on cue. No anti. Sorry, Antiquarian, I don't think we're gonna see any uh, chi. I don't think we're gonna see any chi gaming today. Z's versus Zeus bo boxing. D Zeus would clap. I would. Zeus would one shot me. Ba banning Geisha as well. Interesting. So you you can't play that Geisha again. Let's see. Who do we see here? Who do we see? No Seer. No Mike. No Embalmer, which I'm fine with. Who do we see? We could see Toy Merchant again. Hmm. We could see Patient, maybe? Melly on Chinatown. Let's go. Okay. I love Melly. I love Melly on Chinatown, dude. This is awesome. But no, we're not going to see Alice, unfortunately, because we have Merc. I feel like they're going to play a weird character this match. I feel like we're going to see like a freaking... Like a professor or something, I don't even know. I have a weird feeling we're gonna see a professor or something, or like an enchantress. Don't make me right. <laughs> we could see Toy Merchant again. Uh, who are they missing? They're missing a harasser. We could see forward. Dancer, okay, okay. Dancer's good on this map. Very solid support character. The last ban we're gonna see is they can't ban Mike. Patient? Uh, who is your last ban? I feel like you don't really need to ban anybody else, right? Who else is really good on Chinatown? Norton. Okay, for just getting rid of harassers. Okay, that's fine. Um, do they pick a harasser? Do they pick like batter or something? Forward batter? Batter? Okay, right on cue. Let's go! We got some Ganji! Alrighty then. Right on cue then. Right on cue. I think this is the second time we've seen Batter and Koa. I think we've only seen him once before. Here we go. Alright. Now who do you play? I feel like I feel this is this is a good, like somewhat good anti-wheel comp, maybe? I feel like Ganji's okay against the wheel. Hmm. Who do you play here? Anybody but Wax. Once again, I'm fine with anybody but Wax. And the thing is, I'm pretty sure they win the set if they get a tie. I think all they need is... Wait, we could literally just see them play like Bonbon bon or something. Mm. They need to... I, th I think STR needs to play this risky because they... Uh, um, yeah, they, they need a three escape. They need a three escape to extend the set. They need a three escape. It's it's Ty King Nightwatch. He's back. All right, all righty. Here we go. Oh, this is rough, man. I'm gonna have to cheer for my my survivor main versus my hunter main. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Let's see. What what team are you on, everybody? Are you on Team Melly <laughs> or Team Nightwatch? Let's see. I th I think if they get the three escape. The, the set should go into overtime. I think that's how it works. I could be wrong. Maybe there's different points. But I think that's how it works. But if the, if, if Nightwatch, the Tie King, can get yet another tie, then that will be the set, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we see it. We see a slight edge for Team Melly. I like to see it. I like to see it. No offense, Nightwatch, but I do like I do like to see the Melly. So I feel like he does chase Melly here first, right? I mean, you could chase Dancer to like make it so she doesn't have her boxes get set up, but uh, I don't know. I don't know who you. Ch I feel like you chase. Now the thing is, the thing is, you could easier you have sights on uh, Ento earlier because the thing is, by the time you find the Dancer, she could have already rotated out. You're so close to the Ento, you could probably spot her like within the first two seconds of the match. That's probably why they're. That's probably why they chased Seer last time because he was like right there. It's more of like a I find target, I chase target, so I don't get rotated. Because honestly, like, I feel like instead of finding a better chase target, it's probably more of like a I don't want to get rotated. Let me chase this person. 
We are seeing Morningstar once again. And he is going to chase after Melly. Yep. The Kony skin again, bro. They always love running this freaking skin. I want to see more Sophia Melly. I want to see more Kongho Melly. Come on. The skin isn't bad, but it's like on the low tier end of Melly skins. And Dancer has set up a box already. Uh, we see... Wait, were they expecting a wheel? No way. They have Flywheel, Flywheel, Flywheel. Everybody with Flywheel except for Mercenary with Tide, of course. Oh, no, never mind. He, never, he's still getting rotated. And he's still getting rotated. On to the Dancer now. Hold on. Dang, that's slow. Gonna break the box. He has no chase target right now. And yep, dancer, dancers in hotel. Does she? There's no way she drops the god pal. No, she's gonna just camp. Yep, camping up here. Camp, camping up here. That makes sense. Force him to go all the way up, then all the way down. Hiding it out. Drops down. Ooh, no trail either. That was good. But now he's now he spots trail right. Now he's got trail. Yep. Oh, slow box drop pal. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is dancer things. Dancer things are happening. Does he break the slow box though? Yeah, breaks the slow box. The thing is that just adds to her looping capability. She waits up there. Beautiful. Oh, now he's gonna go after. No, stop lagging. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see him go after Melly now. I see. So she's got B. She can loop this area a little bit. Has blink and insolence. This is yeah. This is a lot more of a draw build we're seeing here. But again, the rotation is good. Nobody's taking damage yet. He almost has strong wind though. Once that insolence hits. It's gonna be a little scarier. Post B's up here. No, post post B's up on the on the. Okay, Melly's in connected. This is where Melly shines. She can't get to it though. She can't get to connected. Oh no! If she had just a little bit more distance. Good, good, good diligence. But he just blink downs her now. All this rotation for nothing with this blink. Stalling, committing, blink, dead. Flywheel? Ooh, that was fast. He swung before he blinked. That was fast. You cannot react to that. Bro's almost at full presence now. Because his insolence procced before he got the first hit, so now he's one hit away from full pres. Oh, boy. And they only have one tide. Oh, wait, no. Melly doesn't even have flywheel. I thought I, I thought I saw flywheel on everybody else. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw flywheel on the whole team. No, Melly has knee jerk. I'm stupid. I thought she had flywheel. I'm dumb. All right, anyway. Maybe they were like more balancing it out and not just expecting wheel here. But yeah, there's actually no point to even go wheel. So they should have been expecting wheel here. Like, because they need it, they just need to tie. Dang, Nightwatch, you are swinging. <laughs> batter, batter. Batter, come on, Ganji. Good flywheel, good flywheel. Good, good. You got to keep this melee alive. Oh, good stun. Stun's after the pallet stun. Good. But he can catch up now. He's now at full prez. Melly, come on. She gets swept back. Oh, no. She had to, she had to go behind the table. She had to go behind the table to minimize that. Batter, come on. He does get hit. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. He does take a hit there. Okay, this is looking like a tie. This is looking like a tie. He's coming back. He's co Oh, wait. Why are you coming this way? Uh? That's not gonna, that's gonna be enough. That's not enough. He can't drag the basin. She'll struggle free. Okay. Tearing on a cypher, too. This is a tie. This is just a tie, man. See, that's what you needed to do. That's what Melly needed to do. She needed to do that to the table. Alright. Oh, man. They can't afford to sell. They're, are they selling? They have to sell. Oh, my gosh. Move your bees. He messed up his dash. It's Dancer. She's here. I mean, she has to be. Okay. Nice. Ganja, you are on body block and protect with your life duty. Come on. Uh, I don't know if that was his blink is almost back up you need to die you they need to he needs to die for her he needs to die for her he has no more balls he needs to body block yeah he has to body block he dies for her okay she barely has any more bees left it's gonna be close it's gonna be really close if she can make it to end game but blink is almost ready it's gonna be close dude she okay hold on she goes over here. Does he blink? Does he blink? He blinks. Oh, no. But batter. He's not up in time. The bees. It's not enough. It's not enough. Oh, it's just barely not enough. Just barely. It's a tie. That's it. The only chance. That was so close, man. That was so close. The blink secured it. 
The blink secured it, dude. Oh, man. Ganji, Ganji literally has to... Nice, nice. He ha he has to do this, bro. Ganji, it's up to you, bro. Oh, oh! The jankness? He has no- he doesn't have a ball, he's dead. The flywheel, though! The flywheel! No way! Wait, where's Mercenary? No, he's- Mercenary- Ah, oh, that's it. Wait, no, Mercenary- no. Is there a way? Is there a way? Mercenary can tank one hit. I feel like they have to go for this. He's dragging to basement. Can he struggle? No, he's not- no, he's just dragging away from the- he's just dragging away from the, uh... <laughs> just dragging away from the door, dude. Oh. But wait. Detention will run out. Detention is 50 seconds. Ganji has about 55 seconds on chair, I think. There's a chance. There's a very small chance. Mercenary's trying to get another item, maybe to try and give to Dancer or something? He sees you, he sees you. Oh... There's a chance, but it's very slim. They have to go for this. There's no way. Because the thing is, Nightwatch has full wind and dashes. There's no way he doesn't get this tie. I... Uh, I don't know what happens here. I, it's gonna. It's close. Mercenary has to come in. It's so... Oh, he hits the mercenary, though. But he has wind and everything. And he just goes down. He just goes down. It's just not enough. It's just not enough. They had to, bro. It was the only way. Oh, man. It was the only way. And now he's dead. So that the, by, by cheering batter here, that secures the victory. Dang, dude. That was close. That was close, dude. Two super close instances. But yeah, it just wasn't happening. Like you, you get you get the rescue, but then what, right? Then what? Batter has no resources. Nightwatch has ha Nightwatch has all the resources in the world. Yep. That's the set. That's the set. He blinks. <laughs> That's the set. Dang, dude. Dang. That was so close, man. That was so close. I, I mean, I like to see it. Don't get me wrong. I love to see it. That was a good game. But man, they almost had that, dude. They almost did. Like the bees too, dude. They were fighting to the bitter end, man. Oh, they were fighting to the bitter end. Gosh. That was so good. I, I need I need to see that last like interaction one more time, dude. That was that was just so good. Like right right here, right in this instance, dude. Right in this is because like if if borrow time triggers, they all go to full health, right? And Melly still probably would have run out of bees, but like he didn't have teleport. He used blink on Melly, so he would have had no trait. And when I think when he blinked Melly, he held, he didn't have much wind charges either. And the blink was just barely ready to. So like like I said, with batter since he had no balls, he had he had to die for her right here. He had to keep her alive. But um it was just it's just the blink, dude. It was so close. It was it was very risky because what using that blink there if the cipher was ready. So he, he blinks, gets the down. It's at 91 and 89. So they're like basically five seconds away from being popped. And then he, sh he shoves with the bees. I honestly, no, no. Okay, so they, they would have needed like three more seconds. They needed three more seconds. Three more seconds and they could have popped. And then Melly ideally leaves hold on because like melly would have ideally left this area she maybe would have still had bees if she had no bees she has knee jerk so she runs into connected and just stalls up there she literally just runs into connected stalls all the way up there dies up there and i was just forced to drag her all the way down here put her in the chair that's like right here and by that time they could have got the three escape i think there was a chance three seconds away bro that's that's what i mean in this game when every second matters Every second in this game matters. Because they were literally three seconds away from what they needed. That was crazy. That was a really good game, though. I can't even lie. That was a super intense and fun game. I, if Batter had, like, one more ball or something, dude. 
But he, the thing is, he used two rage mode balls, and the last ball was near the chair. Uh, and then, like, right here, I thought, if Mercenary was here, if Lily, if Mercenary was here, all he had to do was take the hit, and then they just run out. Maybe. Well, there's a chance. Like, let's let's say Mercenary was posted up, like, right here. And Batter wouldn't have had to vault this. He takes the hit, and then the they both rush toward the gate. Um, they're, they're, I think... If the gate opened right at that time, there was a chance, right? There was a chance. Because he wouldn't have had to use his flywheel. And if he was aiming for a batter... I honestly... I, you know what? Now I think about it, I don't think there was. Because I don't think the gate would have opened in time. And he would have had strong wind. No, his wind was actually on cooldown here. No, no, never mind. It wasn't. No, so he, he would have had wind. So I think... I think even with that theory craft, he hits mercenary here, he stands still, they run to the gate. He just dashes and then strong wins. So unless they it would have been close. It would have been really close. It would have been really close. My goodness. Uh good good try though. Good try. Really good try. My goodness. Oh boy. But yeah, that's that's the sets for today, everybody. That is the uh that are the sets or that the, that's the sets for today, yep. <laughs> However you do words, I, I forget how to words. This is actually gonna probably be like one of the the more short ones because um we had we had a very short set. That was a, that was a very the, the first set was very uh very short, only two rounds, and this one was a pretty standard one. But yeah, this this um there 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 was a chance there there was a chance that was fun though that was fun no no antiquated matches out she was banned I think every single time, but. This was still good though, cause we we saw novelist and we saw fool's gold, two two very fun, or two two characters that have never appeared in tournament before, to my knowledge, never. Like that that's crazy. I, I think I think wasn't there like one more like weird pick that we saw? Well, I feel like there was another weird pick that we saw. I don't remember, but on a, mainly it was the novelist and the fool's gold picks. Yeah. Pretty pretty interesting stuff. Pretty interesting stuff. Anyways. I think I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, obviously, tomorrow we'll be back for a much longer stream because there will be uh, four sets. I'm gonna have hiccups. What the heck? There will be four set, uh, four sets instead of two sets. So we'll be here for like double the amount of time, potentially even longer. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. We'll be back tomorrow with videos and freaking streams and koa stuff and then for the next week we'll have tons of koa since there's going to be like multiple live streams i don't know if i'll be streaming japan tomorrow i don't know if i'll be streaming china uh, chinese division tomorrow i don't know i'll have to see uh I'll, I'll, it'll, it'll it'll depend on like what the uh stream scheduling is for them so uh i'll play i'll kind of just play it by ear but there will be a stream tomorrow where we check out some koa games anyways yeah for like the last time that's gonna be for today thanks for watching i'll see you all later everybody i hope you have a great rest of your day Bye bye